61. Basic Agriculture. Learning Objectives. After studying this chapter, students will be able to know important fruits and their cultivation hints. Identify the problems of fruits and their management. Identify the major insect pests and diseases of temperate fruits and their integrated control measures. Start agribusiness in horticultural crops. Introduction. Whenever you go to a market, you might have seen several types of fruits, vegetables, flowers, condiments and spices. Have you ever thought about their areas of production, and specific climate or soils in which they grow? I don't think you have ever thought about it. You may have several such queries in your mind. In this chapter, you will come to know about major fruits, vegetables, flower crops and some plantain crops, condiments and spices and their cultural hints. A. Cultural hints for major fruits grown in India. Apple. Apple, Malus domestica bork. Apple is the most important fruit among the temperate fruits grown throughout the world. It belongs to genus Malus, family Rosaceae with basic chromosome number, X equals 17 and commonly called as king of temperate fruits. In India, apple is cultivated in Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland and Sikkim. Some low-chilling varieties are also cultivated in Nilgiri Hills and Eastern Himalayan ranges. Soil and climatic requirements apple can grow on a wide range of soils. Well-drained, deep, fertile, slightly acidic, clay loam soils with pH 6.0-6.8 are considered ideal for apple cultivation. Sites with gentle slope are generally more suitable than too steep areas. Apple requires about 1,000 to 1,500 hours of winter chilling for breaking the bud dormancy. Chapter 2. Production and Management of Horticultural Crops. 62. Planting the systems of planting apple in flat areas are square, rectangular, quintunes and hexagonal. However, in hilly areas, contour or terrace planting is convenient. A planting distance of 8 by 8 meters for vigorous and 5 by 5 meters for dwarf cultivars is recommended in India. In general, pits of 1x 1 by 1 meter size are dug and filled at least one month before planting by mixing 40 to 50 kilogram FYM or compost, 500 grams superphosphate and 50 grams insecticidal dust like metacid dust or foliar dust at the time of pit filling. Early planting should be done preferably in December. Commercial varieties according to the time of harvesting, apple varieties can be categorized as early, mid and late. Early. Red June, Tiddyman's Early Booster, King's Pippin, Summer Queen Mid-Season Stocking Delicious, Red Delicious, Rich Air, Black Ben Davis, Red Gold, Makutosh, Golden Delicious, Lord Lambon Late. Granny Smith, Respipan Yellow, Winter Banana. Flowering, pollination and fruit set Most of the apple cultivars especially of the delicious group are self-infertile and hence require cross-pollination for satisfactory fruit set. Therefore, pollinizing varieties such as Tiddyman's Early Booster, Red Gold and Golden Delicious should also be grown along with commercial variety. Rootstocks and propagation Traditionally seedling rootstocks are used. Standard clonal rootstocks such as Maling M series M9, M27, and Maling Merton MM series rootstocks MM106, MM109, MM111 are used. Training and pruning modified central leader system of training is most suitable for developing framework of the tree in standard plantations on seedling rootstock. The proportional heading back and thinning out system of pruning is adopted to maintain the balance between the reproductive and vegetative growth. Apple requires regular moderate annual pruning. In the aged plantations, spur pruning is advisable to encourage the vegetative growth and new spur development. Manures and fertilizer in general, 10 kg FYM, 70 grams N, 35 GP. 2O, 5 and 70 grams K. 2O should be applied to one-year-old plants. FYM, P. 2O, 5 and K. 2O should be applied during the winter before snowfall at the time of basin preparation whereas nitrogenous fertilizer should be applied one month before bud break. 63. Basic Agriculture. Maturity and harvesting It is important to harvest the fruits at proper stage of maturity. Immature fruits are of poor flavor and quality and shrink during storage. Over mature fruits are also poor in quality and are more prone to storage disorders. The important picking indices for apple are, change of seed color to brown, change of brown color from green to paler red, TSS of 11 to 14.5, firmness of flesh, 16 to 18 LB, square inch, easy separation of fruit from the spurs, T stage, starch index and 90 to 180 days from full bloom to maturity depending on variety. Grading and packing the harvested fruits are graded according to size and color. In India, apples are graded in 7 size grades viz, super large, 85 mm diameter, extra large, 80 mm, large, 75 mm, medium, 70 mm, small, 65 mm, extra small, 60 mm, and pitu, 55 mm and below. The fruits can be packed in telescopic fiberboard cartons or wooden boxes for transportation and storage. Apple fruits can be stored at minus 1.1 to 0 degrees Celsius at 85 to 90 percent relative humidity for 4 to 6 months. Plant protection A. Insect pests and their control. Insect pest. Control measures. San Jose scale. Application of 2% miscible oil of 5% summer oil during February March efficiently controls the pest. Woolly apple aphid. Soil application of forate or carbofuran granules during May and October November checks its incidence and spread of this pest. The fall spray of chlorpyrifos 0.02%, phenytrin 0.05%, dimethoate 0.03%, or phosphomedin 0.03% also controls the pest effectively. Root borders. Drench tree basins with chlorpyrifos 0.04 or dusting with foliar dust at the rate of 25 kg per hectare during September is quite effective for the control of root borders. Diseases and their control. Apple scab. The disease is caused by a fungus, Venturia inequalis. It is most serious disease of apple and causes serious losses to the growers. It mostly affects leaves, buds, and fruits. On the affected parts, all leaf-colored spots appear. A spray schedule of different chemicals has been recommended for its effective control. 64. Powdery mildew in this disease. Whitey powdery mass grows on leaves and other aerial parts. It can be kept under control by pruning and destroying affected terminals and spraying of vegetable sulfur, 0.2-0.3%, carbendazine, 0.05%, or karatane, 0.05%, during late dormancy, bud swell, petal fall and two weeks later. In nursery, spraying of fungicides at seven days interval is recommended. Mango. Mango, Mangifera indica L, belongs to family Anacardaceae in genus Mangifera with basic chromosome number, X equals 20. The choicest fruit of India, Ambassador fruit of India, is said to be the king of fruits. It is an outstanding source of vitamin A, a good source of vitamin C, apart from normal minerals and other vitamins. Soil and climatic requirements Mango can be grown in a variety of soils but clay loam, well-drained soils with a pH range of 5.7 to 7.5, are considered to be the best for its cultivation. A temperature range of 24 minus 27 degrees Celsius throughout the growing season is the best for its cultivation. Commercial varieties in India, there are several varieties of mango but only 10 to 12 are grown commercially. For example, Dashahari, Langra, Chauzer and Bombay Green are grown commercially in North, Banganpalli, Venetian, Neelam, Totapuri in South, Alfonso and Kesar in West and Langra, Himsagar ETC, in the East.
On the basis of embryos, mango varieties have been classified as monoembryonic, most of the varieties, and polyembryonic, bapakai, bellary, chandrakaran, kurukan, goa, olao, carabao, paho, peach, apricot, strawberry etc. Propagation mango can be propagated both by sexual and asexual means but it is mainly propagated by veneer grafting, stone grafting and softwood grafting in different parts of India. Planting distance and time planting distance varies from variety to variety and locality to locality. In general, a planting distance of 10 to 12 m is recommended for commercial varieties like Dashahari, Langra, Chansa, Alfonso, Banganpalli etc. Pits of 1x1 by 1 meter size are dug out and kept open during May, which are refilled by the end of the June with a mixture of topsoil and farmyard manure in the ratio of 1, 1. The best time for planting mango is the monsoon season. 65. Basic agriculture. Manures and fertilizer in general, ammonium sulfate, superphosphate and sulfate of potash should be mixed in the ratio of 1, 3, 1 and applied at half a kilogram in the first year, which should be increased by kilogram every year up to 15th year, and then 6 to 10 kilogram afterwards. Farmyard manure, FYM, is generally applied in September, October every year. Irrigation young plants should be irrigated at weekly intervals in summer and at fortnightly intervals in winter. However, the bearing plants should be irrigated at 10 to 15 days interval from fruit set stage to maturity. It is, however, advised to withheld irrigation during flowering as it may result in shedding of flowers. Plant protection. Insect pest control measures. Mango leaf hopper mango hoppers can be controlled by two sprays of carbaryl, 0.1%, or diazinome, 0.2%, during January-February at fortnightly intervals. Mango mealy buck nymphs and females by spraying metastocks, 0.2%. Follow banding of tree trunks with 30cm wide alkathene. Stone weevil difficult to control, however, bagging of fruits, destruction of affected fallen fruits and disposal of debris, ETC, can bring out reduction in the insect number. Fruit fly. Collect and destroy the affected fruits. Use baits, malathion, 0.05%, plus jaggery plus eugenol, at 4 to 5 places in open containers to attract the adult flies, and control them effectively. Breaking of soil in mid-June is equally useful as it helps in the killing of pupae. Diseases. Powdery mildew 2 sprays of karatane, 0.1%, at fortnightly interval completely control this disease. 1 preventive spray of karatane, 0.1%, as soon as cloudy weather appears during flowering time. Anthracnose sprays in F, 0.2%. However, a preventive spray of Bordeaux mixture, 4, 450, is always useful in human areas before panical emergence. Physiological disorders malformation, it is most dreaded disorder of mango in northern parts of India, the causal agent of which is still unknown. Most of the commercial varieties in subtropical parts of India are affected by malformation and southern parts are virtually free from it. Plants both in nursery and field are affected by this malady. The symptoms of this, 66, malady are characterized by the transformation of inflorescence into compact mass with predominating male flowers. This disorder is commonly related to the prevailing environmental temperature. Panicles emerging during late December or early January, when the environmental temperature is comparatively low, are worst affected by malformation. The following control measures reduce the incidence of malformation. 1. Remove and burn all the affected malformed panicles and branches as and when they emerge. 2. Follow up the blossoming in January. 3. Application of methanol leaf extract of Rulia tuberosa, 12G leaf per liter solution, reduces malformation in CV. Dashahari. However, the concentration is variety specific, which needs to be standardized. 4. Spray na, 200 ppm, in October. Spongy tissue. Spongy tissue disorder accounts for more than 30% loss in Alfonso mango. In this disorder, a non-edible, sour, yellowish and sponge-like patch develops in one part of the fruit during ripening. The fruit pulp remains unripe but the fruits look normal in external appearance. On cutting, the fruits emit bad odor and are unfit for human consumption. The precise cause of this malady is still unknown. However, recent studies indicate that fruits low in CA content are worst affected by spongy tissue disorder and the convectoric heat of the soil adds more to this disorder. Use of sort culture, green vegetation, leguminous crop cover or mulching at pre-harvest stage are some measures to reduce this disorder to some extent. Maturity and harvesting depending on variety and growing environment, mango fruits take 90 to 120 days to reach harvest maturity. Various indices have been suggested to determine the harvest maturity of mango, e.g., change of peel color, natural falling of some fruits from the tree, tapka, formation of abscission layer at pedicel joint, specific gravity of fruits, 1.01-1.02 etc. Harvesting is done manually. The most useful tool for this purpose is a long bamboo pole fitted with a cutting shear and a collecting net below it at the distal end of the pole. Malformed mango panicle. Mango malformation is the most dreaded malady of mango in North India. Its causes are not yet known, however, temperature plays a vital role. The blossoming of malformed panicles during December-January is most useful solution. Spongy tissue is one of the most serious disorders of Alfonso mango, which hinders its export from India. 67. Basic agriculture. Banana. Banana belongs to family Musasia in genus Musa with basic chromosome number, X equals 11. On the basis of genomic constitution, banana has two species, Musa acuminator and M. Balbiciana. All edible bananas have been developed from these two species. Banana is one of the oldest and most popular fruits. It is a good source of carbohydrates and minerals like potassium and sodium. It is widely used as a fresh fruit, but several value-added products like chips, puree etc. can also be made from it. India ranks second among the banana growing countries after Brazil. In India, Kerala, Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu account for major share in area and production of banana. Soil and climatic requirements clay to sandy clay loam soil is the most suitable for banana cultivation. However, the best soil is medium textured soil, having pH between 5.5 minus 8.0. It enjoys an annual rainfall ranging from 100 to 325 centimeters. Banana is well adapted to areas with temperature between 21 minus 32 degrees Celsius and annual rainfall between 1000 minus 2000 millimeters. Commercial varieties, clones the major varieties are Puban, Basri, Montan, Harichal, Rasthali, Hill Banana, Nendran, Savas High and Kunnan. Propagation bananas are propagated from offshoots, suckers or rhizomes. Planting system square, rectangle and triangle system are recommended systems for banana planting. For monoculture cropping system, the recommended planting distance is 3.0 by 1.5 m. For high density planting, distance is reduced significantly. Thinning of suckers or desuckering thinning of suckers involves removal of unwanted suckers, normally weak unhealthy, mainly water sucker using sharp knife at the ground level, leaving one bearer, one follower and one sucker per clump at any time. Fertilizer application banana requires high fertilization due to its rapid and vigorous growth and high fruit yield. It removes nearly 250 to 300 kg N, 25 to 40 kg P and 800, 1 200 kg K, 150 to 180 kg CA, 40 to 60 kg MG and 14 to 20 kg S per hectare. Usually, 300 kg N, 40 to 50 kg P and 250 to 300 K should be given per hectare. Water management banana plant should be irrigated to encourage development and healthy growth especially in the early years of growth. Microsprinkler or drip irrigation system is 68. Recommended. 
Areas with frequent flash flood, construction of in-field drainage is recommended. Plant protection. Insect pests. Control measures. Core weevil. Use healthy materials and treat rhizomes with hot water for 5 to 10 minutes. Ensure good sanitation. Trench with dildren. Stem borer weevil. Ensure good sanitation. Spray with dildren. Nematode. Hot water treatment. Sanitation. Trench with phenomophores. Wrapping of fruit with polyethylene bags. Diseases. Control measures. Leaf spot. Use resistant cultivar. Spray with benamide 0.03%. Panama disease. Fusarium wilt. Use resistant variety. Ensure good sanitation. Use disease-free planting material. Monkey top. Adoption of strict quarantine measures. Destroy infected plant material. Control aphid by spraying metastasis stocks or dimcron 0.01%. Maturity. Harvesting and yield depending on the variety. Banana starts to bear fruit in 6 to 8 months after planting. It is ready for harvesting in about 7-11 weeks later. Guava. Guava, Cydium gajaba L, belongs to family Murtisiae in genus Cydium with basic chromosome number N equals 11. It is also known as the apple of tropics and poor man's fruit in India. It is a rich source of vitamin C and pectin, and good source of vitamins, minerals like calcium and phosphorus. Being rich in pectin, excellent jelly is made from guavas. In India, it is mainly grown in Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Bihar and Maharashtra. In Uttar Pradesh, Allahabad region has the reputation of growing the best quality guavas in the world. Soil and climatic requirements Guava is a hardy fruit plant and can thrive on all types of soils, ranging from heavy clay to light soils. However, the clay loam, deep, friable, and well-drained soils are best. It can be grown in soils having pH up to 9.0, though the optimum range is 4.5. The 7.5. Under highly waterlogged, saline and alkaline conditions, its cultivation is adversely affected. However, both yield and fruit quality are better in areas with distinct winter. 69. Basic agriculture. Commercial varieties Important varieties of guava are Allahabad Safeda, Sardar, Lucknow 49, Bihar Coconut, Seedless, Apple Color, Banarasi Surkha, Chittidar, Arka Kiran, Shweta. Propagation Guava can be propagated both by seed and a sexual means. Most important methods of vegetative propagation are air layering, gooty, stooling, softwood grafting and budding. Now a days, stooling is preferred. Planting the pits of 1x 1 by 1 meter size should be dug out at appropriate distance in a square system before monsoon. The pits are refilled with 25 to 30 kilogram well decomposed farmyard manure, mixed with topsoil and irrigated. The best planting time is onset of monsoon. Guava is usually planted at a distance of 7 to 8 meters. Irrigation guava is a hardy fruit plant and requires very less water. However, in the early stages of orchard establishment, plants require frequent irrigation. Later, more frequent irrigation, fortnightly interval, is required from April to June for good growth and fruit yield. Due to regular growth, flowering and fruiting in South India, guava requires irrigation throughout the year. Manuring and fertilization 10 year old guava tree should be given about 80 kg of FYM, 1 kg of ammonium sulfate or 800 g of calcium ammonium nitrate, 3 kg of superphosphate and 2 kg of potassium sulfate. The fertilizer should be applied in two split doses, June and October, when there is sufficient moisture in the soil. Flowering and crop regulation guava flowers twice a year in North India. First flowering takes place in April-May, which gives fruits in rainy season. The second flowering takes place in August-September to give fruiting in winter season. The rainy season crop is generally avoided as most of the fruits are infested by fruit fly and the fruits are insipid and of very poor quality. The winter crop is virtually free from fruit fly and the fruits are of high quality. Winter crop is therefore preferred as it gives very high returns to the farmers. In central southern India, guava flowers twice a year, with flowers appearing in October also. In West Bengal, guava flowers once in April-May and again in September-October. Under certain climatic conditions, guava plants may flower twice or thrice a year. Under these conditions, regulation of flowering is required to get fruits of desirable quality. Regulation of flowering can be achieved by exposure of roots, root pruning and with chemicals, which is called as Baha treatment. 70. In areas where guava flowers twice or thrice a year, we need to regulate crop in such a way that only quality crop is harvested. In this process, winter and rainy season crop is avoided. This can be done by forcing the plants to take rest in the undesired season by stopping irrigation, and then applying fertilizer and manures in the desired season. The blossoming can be done by spraying Na, 100 ppm, or 2, 4 D, 30 ppm, in summer. Plant protection. Insect pest damage. Control measures fruit fly. Most serious pest of rainy season crop, renders whole crop unfit for consumption. Maggots on hatching, enter the fruits, and feed inside. Soil raking, destruction of infected fruits, use of baits, sugar plus malathion, and spraying plants with malathion, 0.05%, or dinecron, 0.03%, during oviposition period are some useful measures. Mealy bug causes damage by sucking cell sap from tender leaves, shoots, flowers and fruits. The affected leaves dry up and the fruits drop off, resulting in poor yield. The banding of the tree trunk with polyethylene film or ostaco sticky bands is the best method to prevent them climbing of the tree. Further, treatment of soil with aldrin or malathion is also effective. Diseases. Symptoms. Control measures built. Thus disease is characterized by yellowing off. Leaves, followed by drying of the leaves. The twigs start drying from tip downwards. The plant may collapse slowly in several or within 15 to 20 days. Remove and burn the infected plants, maintain proper drainage. Grow built resistant varieties, L49, Banarasi, avoid planting in highly alkaline soils, disinfect soil with 2% formaldehyde solution before planting, and drench soil with brassicol or spray babistin, 0.1%, at an interval of 15 days at early stages of disease infection. Anthracnose dieback starts from top of the branch. Other plant parts, like shoots, leaves and fruits are readily affected. High humidity and frequent rains favor the spread and intensity of disease. Spray Detani Z78 or Phytolin, 0.2%, at fortnightly interval. Maturity and harvesting seedling guava plants have 5-6 to six years juvenile phase whereas the grafted a layered plants start bearing after 2-3 to three years. Change in fruit color is usually taken as harvesting index. As soon as color starts turning from greenish to yellowish, the fruits should. 71. Basic agriculture be harvested. Hand picking of fruits at regular intervals is preferred. Harvesting by shaking of tree may cause severe damage to fruits in the tree. Guava starts giving economic yields after 8 to 10 years of planting. In general, grafted plant of 8 to 10 years age can yield 400 to 800 fruits weighing 80 to 100 kg. Guavas are highly perishable and must be marketed immediately after harvest. Citrus. Citrus comprise a group of fruits such as mandarin, citrus reticulator, sweet orange, citrus sinensis, lemon, citrus limon, lime, cyrus orantifolia, pomelo, citrus grandis, and grapefruit, C. paradisi. Belonging to family Ruticiae. With basic chromosome number, X equals 8. Juice present in the vesicles is the edible portion of the citrus fruit. The juice contains 12 to 14 percent sugars, citric acid, and ascorbic acid, vitamin C. In India, Maharashtra, AP, Punjab, Ne states, Karnataka and Bihar are the major citrus producing states. 
Soil and climatic requirements Commercial citrus cultivation in India is done on soils ranging from coarse sands to heavy clays, ideal pH ranges from 5.5 to 6.0. The growth and development in citrus is optimum in temperature regimes ranging from 25 to 30 degrees Celsius to minimum of L3 degrees Celsius. Annual rainfall of 800 to 900 mm, well distributed throughout the year is optimum for citrus growth and production. Commercial cultivars. Sweet oranges, Mosambi, Sarkudi, Valencia, Pineapple, Jaffa, Hamlin, Shamauti, Malta, Malta Blood Red, Ruby ETC. Mandarins over, Silver Hill, King, Below Leaf, Nakuri, Kasi, Kurg, Kino and Satsuma. Lemon. Eureka, Lisbon, Assam Lemon, Pani Jameer, Maya Lemon, Karnakata, and Gulgul Hill Lemon. Lime. West Indian Lime, Kagzi, Tahiti Lime, Persian, Pond, ETC. Grapefruit Duncan, Foster, Mars Seedless, Thompson Seedless, Red Blush. Pomelo Nakur, Chakotra, Common Pomelo. Propagation and rootstock citrus trees are propagated by both vegetative mean and sexually by seeds. Vegetative methods are preferred because they ensure uniformity in quality and bearing. Seeds of several citrus species are polyembryonic and nuclear seedlings, which produce true to type plants. Mandarins and acid limes are mostly propagated as seedlings. Lemons, citrons, sweet limes are easily propagated by stem cuttings. A layering is mostly practiced in pomelo, mandarin, acid lime, and seedless lemons. Most of citrus cultivars are propagated by tea, budding on a suitable rootstock. 72. Rootstock and polyembryony rootstocks commonly employed for citrus propagation are rough lemon, sour orange, C. orantium L, karna khatta, C. karna, rankur lime, C. reticulator, sweet orange, C. sinensis L. Osbeck, citrangers like Troyer, trifoliate orange, Ponsiris trifoliata L. Raff, and Cleopatra mandarin. Planting commonly planted in a square or rectangular system. In square system, the planting density of 4 by 4 meters, 5 by 5 meters, 3 by 3 meters can accommodate 625, 400, 11, 11 plants per hectare, respectively. Pits of size 50 by 50 centimeters are dug in summer according to the layout plan and mixed with 15 to 20 kg well rotten FYM and 50 grams chlorophyllophores to kill white ants and fill tightly with topsoil. The best planting time is beginning of rainy season. Nutrient management for sustainable production of fruits and for proper maintenance of plant and soil health, efficient nutrient management program must be adopted. Citrus is a nutrient exhaustive crop as plants in the population density of 400 plants per hectare can remove about 200 kg N, 50 kg P. 2 O. 5 and 200 kg K. 2 O per hectare. Fall spray of micronutrients has given beneficial effect on improving the yield and quality. 1 to 2 percent urea, along with ZNSO. 4. MNSO. 4. MGSO. 4. Each 0.5 percent, and QZO. 4. 0.25 percent, is beneficial for all citrus cultivars. Physiological disorders granulation. This is the major disorder of sweet orange, mandarin wherein the juice sacs become tough, and large, colorless and tassels. There is a marked increase in the pectic substances, gels ETC, and marked decline in sugars, organic acids and carotenoids. These fruits are insipid and fetch poor price in the market. Some of the factors associated with it are, high soil humidity, high relative humidity and temperature during fruit growth. Hamlin and Mosambi orange are highly prone to granulation. This malady can be kept under control with the application of 16 ppm of 2,4-D on developing fruits. Similar, effect was also noted with the spray of ZNSO. 4 plus QZO. 4 plus KCL each at 0.25% at monthly interval from August to October. Fruit cracking. This is a common disorder of sweet orange and acid lime. The splitting starts at stylar end and progresses towards the pedicellar end. Splitting is basically caused due to factors like deficit soil moisture, atmospheric temperature and relative humidity. Borax, 0.2%. Spray can check splitting and timely application of irrigation water must be ensured. Fruit cracking, splitting is a serious problem in lemon. It can be reduced by regular irrigation and spraying borax and calcium chloride. 73. Basic agriculture. Plant protection. Insect pest. Damage. Control measures aphids, several species. Aphids suck sap from young leaves and twigs thereby causing severe culling of leaves, stunting of plant and facilitate sooty mold growth by excreting honeydew. These aphids act as vector for trustezer virus. Sprays. Off. Monocrotophores, 0.025%, phosphamidin, 0.03%, or parathon, 0.03%, are useful for the control of aphids. Citrus sila suck sap from young leaves and act as a vector for transmitting greening disease. Spray systemic. Insecticides like phosphamidin, 0.03%, monocrotophores, 0.025%, or oxymitin methyl, 0.03%. Leaf minor young ones cause damage by mining the leaves synthetic pyrethroids. Whiz, fenvalerate, 0.01%, permethrin, 0.005%. Or, cypitnatrine, 0.001%, are most effective. Lemon butterfly caterpillars defoliate entire leaves. Dusting and spraying with savin, 0.1%, has been found very effective. Fruit sucking moth. Adult insects suck sap from mature fruits, thereby leading to fruit rot and drop. Use light traps. Diseases. Symptoms. Control measures trustezer. Symptoms like stem pitting, seedling yellows. ETC, infected plants show poor growth, die back, defoliations and ultimately death. Use tolerant rootstock like rancor. Lime. Cleopatra mandarin. Trifoliate orange, use certified budwood, control aphids by insecticides. Greening. The symptoms appear as chlorosis resembling zinc deficiency, short twigs with upright yellow leaves, leaf drop, die back, formation of multiple buds and disfigured fruits. Free injection with tetracycline or employing cross protection is found to be effective. Control citrus sila by suitable insecticides. Phytophthora rot or gomosis. Symptoms are noted as root rot, gomosis, blight of seedlings and fruit rot. Use resistant rootstocks like Ponsiris trifoliata or sour orange. Soil drenching with full tuff, 0.2%, or avoiding water stagnation around tree trunk is widely adopted practices. 74. Bacterial canker acid limes are most susceptible. Development of lesions with halo on leaves, twigs and fruits. Spray 1% Bordeaux mixture or 500 ppm streptomycin sulfate and control of leaf minor, insect vector, by metasis stocks, 0.1%. Prune infected portions. Maturity, harvesting and yield time of harvest in citrus varies with the region, tropical and subtropical, and the species. Marketable maturity is generally judged by the change in rind color. Commercially, TSS. Acid ratio is the most reliable method and it ranges from 10, 1 to 16, 1, depending upon citrus species and flush. Kasi mandan in northern eastern states is harvested during October-January, while Darjeeling, mandarin is harvested during November-December. Kino in Punjab is harvested during January-February, Nagpur mandarin is harvested during April-July. Mosambi is harvested in April-June, first crop in Maharashtra. Handpicking is the most popular method to collect fruits while in some regions, harvesting by shaking of main trunk is also done. Maximum productivity in citrus ranges from 700 to 1000 fruits per tree which depends on the age of plant, cultivar, rootstock and management practices. Kino plant can yield 300 to 800 fruits, plant, mandarin give 500 fruits per plant. Grapes. 
Grape, Vitus vinifera L, is one of the most delicious, refreshing and nourishing fruit, which belongs to the family Vichyaceae. The fruit is utilized in many ways. About 80% of the grapes are used for winemaking and the remaining 20% are used for raisin, juice and canning purpose. France, Italy and Spain are the leading producer of wine. In India, grapes are mainly consumed as fresh fruit. Soil and climatic requirements well drained sandy loam soil and fairly fertile soil, having good amount of organic matter is best for cultivation of grapes. Heavy clay, sand or slit are unsuitable for grape. Grape is relatively tolerant to soil salinity and alkalinity. Grape requires a long, dry and moderately hot season during cane maturity and ripening of berries followed by cool winter. Rains during growing season are useful. A view of profuse bearing in grape. Citrus canker. 75. Basic agriculture but continuous rains, make it difficult to control diseases. Rains at the time of berry ripening are harmful as even a single shower of rain during berry ripening can destroy the whole crop. Bright sunny days help in accumulation of sugar in berries. Commercial cultivars. Table grapes Thompson seedless, Pusa seedless, Pullet, Beauty seedless, Pusa urvashi, Bodhi, Cardinal and Black Muscat. Raisin grapes Black Corinth, Thompson seedless, Muscat of Alexandria, Sundekhani, Pusa seedless and Kismish Belly. Juice grapes Early Muscat, Black Champa, Concord, Bangalore Blue, White Riesling, Arca Hans, and Pusa Navring. Wine grapes White Riesling, Pinot Noir, Cabernet Sauvignon, Black Cheaper, Rubert, Madeleine and Gavin, Chima Sahibi and Pusa Navring. Canning grapes Thompson seedless, Pusa seedless and Pullet. Grape varieties can be seeded as seedless, as grouped here under. Seeded cultivars Anab Eshahi, Bangalore Blue, Bodhi, Panchraksha, Cardinal, Chima Sahibi, Gold, Gulabi, Pearl of Kasaba, Pinot Noir, Arka Kanchan, Arka Shyam, Arka Hans, Pusa Navring ETC. B. Seedless cultivars Beauty Seedless, Pusa Seedless, Pullet, Thompson Seedless, Delight, Himrod, Kishmish Journey, Arkwati, Pusa Urvashi ETC. C. Selections Some selections have been made by farmers. Taz A. Ganesh, a selection from Thompson Seedless is popular in Maharashtra. Tilkush, Manak Chaman and Sonaka have been selected from Anab Eshahi. Propagation and rootstock grape is commercially propagated through hardwood cuttings. The length of cuttings should be 25 to 30 cm, having at least 4 buds and of pencil thickness. The best time for preparation of cutting is not India is at the time of annual pruning in mid-January. Under certain specific conditions to impart protection from soil-borne diseases and advanced soil conditions, e.g., salinity, commercial varieties are budded or grafted on desired rootstocks, e.g., dog ridge, salt creek. T. and chip budding are successful methods for grape propagation. Planting normally, a spacing of 2 meters by 2 meters is recommended for head system, 3 by 3 meters for trellis and bower system, for low and medium varieties. The poles should be fixed at a specific distance, depending on the training system. Usually, one-year-old rooted cuttings are planted. The planting is done during January-February in North India and during March, April, and September, October in Southern India. 76. Training training is done to give proper shape and desired growth for good quantity and quality of fruiting. The different training systems are bower, head, niffin, trellis, telephone, etc. The most commonly followed training system is bower system, which is also called as arbor or pergola system of training. It is best suited for vigorous cultivars like Thompson seedless, Anab Eshahi, Chima Sahibi, and Bodhi. Pruning judicious removal of any plant part for increased productivity, facilitation of various cultural operation, regulation of crop and maintenance of vitality of vine is referred to as pruning. In North India, it is done during dormant season, from late December to end January, and in South, pruning for fruiting cycle is done during October November, and the foundation pruning for vegetative growth is done in April. After pruning, a single spray of Blitox, 0.2% should be done to avoid fungal attack on the cut portion of the vines. By staggered pruning, Bangalore Blue, Panch Trakshi and Anab Eshahi cultivars give two crops in a year. Irrigation in North India, the grape is irrigated at 7 to 10 days interval during growing season until beginning of sugar formation in berries. Manuring and fertilization, uh, vines under the age of 3 to 5 years, should be given 40 to 50 kg well rotten FYM, and fertilizer combination of 500 grams N plus 300 GP. 2 O. 5 plus 700 grams K. 2 O. B. Vines above 5 years of age, should be given 50 to 70 kg well rotten FYM and fertilizer combination of 500 grams N plus 700 GP. 2 O. 5 plus 1000 GK. 2 O per year. Crop regulation and quality improvement, uh, pruning and thinning, a sizable number of canes should be retained during pruning. In general, 60 to 70 clusters are considered optimum on bower system at 3 by 3 meters spacing. Berry thinning helps in proper development of berries, good color, ripening and quality. B. Girdling. It consists of removal of a complete ring, 0.5 cm of bark from the shoot, trunk or cane of a plant. The stage of girdling depends upon the cultivar and the grower's interest. For example, to improve berry set and yield, girdling is done one week before flowering. For increasing berry size, it is done at berry set or just after set and for advancing ripening, uniform color and quality development, it is done at variation, color change, stage. Girdling wounds heal. Girdling in grapevine trunk. 77. Basic agriculture within a month. This technique is very effective if integrated with pruning, thinning or growth regulator sprays. C. Growth regulators. Ga. Tree has been found to be highly beneficial in loosening the bunches, increasing berry size and yield and in improving fruit quality in seedless varieties like Thompson seedless, Beauty seedless, Pusa seedless etc. Plant protection. Insect pest. Damage. Control measures. Chafer beetle it feeds on buds, young and old leaves, eating away whole lamina, leaving only the skeleton of veins. Dust chlorophyrifose dust on plants. Trips. Trips suck sap from the lower leaf surface, producing silvery blotches, affected parts turn brown, dry and brittle, which later drop off. Spray malathion, 0.5% during March. Causal disease symptoms. Control measures. Powdery mildew virulent in South India. Powdery growth of fungus develops on the leaves and berries, which may drop. Berries do not ripen properly. Become hard and crack. Sulfur dusting or spraying vegetable sulfur, 0.2%, or karatani, 0.1%, protect the vine from powdery mildew. Downy mildew initially, light yellow translucent spots appear on the upper surface of leaf. Afterwards, white mold patches develop on the lower surface of the leaf. Severely affected leaves, flowers and young berries may dry and drop off. Spraying Bordeaux mixture, 1%, at a weekly interval or phytolin, 0.25%, holds good for control of downy mildew. Anthracnose. There is development of erupted brown to black spots on all green parts of the vine. The growth is completely checked, resulting in death of affected parts and splitting of bark. Destroy affected plant parts. Spray 0.2. Percent copper oxychloride or blitox, 0.3%, or phytolin, 0.3%, or baviston, 0.2%, at fortnightly interval during rainy season. 78. Maturity, harvesting and yield grape is a non-climacteric fruit and does not ripen after harvest. Therefore, fully ripe fruits are harvested. Most commonly used maturity index is color change, depending upon the cultivar. The bunches after harvesting should be kept in shade. Grading is done considering size, color and variety. Packing is done in hard cardboard boxes with appropriate cushioning or packing material. 
well maintained vineyard of pallet, Thompson seedless may yield about 25 to 30 and 15 to 20 t per hectare, respectively. Pomegranate. Pomegranate, Punica granatum L, belongs to the family Punicaceae in genus Punica with basic chromosome number, X equals 12. Pomegranate is a juicy fruit which can be processed into different beverages with the addition of sugar and preservatives. Sun dried grains from cultivars having high acidity, is known as anardana, are used for garnishing curries and for culinary purpose. It is a delicious table fruit, rich in B complex vitamins and minerals like calcium, phosphorus, and iron. In India, it is cultivated in Maharashtra, Karnataka, Gujarat, Rajasthan, Andhra Pradesh, and Himachal Pradesh. Soil and climatic requirements, although pomegranate is not specific to soil requirement, but fluctuations in atmospheric humidity cause fruit cracking. Commercial cultivars, the popular cultivars of pomegranate are Ganesh and Muscat in Maharashtra, Basing seedless in Karnataka, Dulkar in Gujarat, Kabul red and Veludu in Tamil Nadu and Kandhari, Jalo seedless and Jodhpur red in Rajasthan. Some promising clonal selections like Akata, Magwa, Sinduri, or hybrids like Mridula and Ruby are also becoming popular. Propagation pomegranate is commercially propagated through semi-hard and hardwood cuttings treated with 1000 ppm above as basal deep. Planting pomegranate is planted at 5 by 5 meters spacing. Pits of 60 x 60 by 60 cm size are dug about one month before planting and filled with topsoil, pond silt and FYM mixture in one, one, one proportion, adding 50 grams methyl to protect them from termite. Rainy season is the best time of planting. Bearing plant of pomegranate. 79. Basic agriculture. Water management Although pomegranate is a drought-hardy fruit plant but to obtain good yield and fruit quality, assured irrigation is essential. Water requirement of pomegranate largely depends upon the desired bahar. For Ambe bahar, 13 irrigations are considered enough for good growth and yield. For Mrig bahar, 9 irrigations are found to be sufficient. In Ambe bahar crop of Ganesh, regular irrigations from March to July at 7 to 10 days interval increase the fruit yield. Nutrient management in normal soils, yearly dose of 10 kg FYM along with 125 grams nitrogen, 50 grams phosphorus and 50 grams potash should be applied per plant up to 5 years of age. Training and pruning multiple stem training is allowed to avoid shoot borer damage. Pomegranate bears fruits on terminal and axillary short spurs arising from the mature shoots and thus does not require regular annual pruning. However, water sprouts, diseased and pest affected at dried branches should be removed. Crop regulation Pomegranate has three main flowering and fruiting seasons of Bahar such as Ambe Bahar, spring season flowering, Mrig Bahar, June-July flowering, and Hust Bahar, September-October flowering. For commercial production, only one crop in a year is desirable. Therefore, by crop regulation, the tree is forced to rest by different ways and then it produces profuse blossoms and fruits during the required bahar. Selection of the bahar depends mainly on the availability of irrigation water, risk of damage by diseases and pests and market factors. In dry areas of northwestern India, with limited irrigation resources, Mrig bahar is preferred to utilize the water available during the monsoon period. In irrigated parts of Maharashtra and Gujarat, respectively Ambe bahar and Hust bahar is preferred since the fruit yield, quality and profitability from other bahars are impaired by the incidence of insect pests and diseases and market factors. The operation, thus, maximizes production from the available inputs and also avoids fruiting during the period when insect pests and disease infestation are common. For this, Operations like withholding irrigations, root exposure, root pruning and spray of chemicals, tia, na or potassium iodide, are practiced to induce leaf drop and cessation of growth during the period of the unwanted bahar. In India, pomegranate flowers thrice a year in certain localities, called bahars. Fruits of all the bahars may not be commercially desirable. Hence, regulation of flowering is desirable to produce fruits in desirable bahar. It can be done by forcing the plants to rest by different ways in unwanted bahar. After rest, plants produce profuse flowers during the required bahar. 80. This is followed by application of normal irrigation, fertilizer and tillage operations one month prior to the desired bahar to induce new growth, flowering and fruiting. In order to increase proportion of good-sized grapefruits, number of fruits on a tree is regulated to retain 50 to 60 fruits on one bush by hand removal or by chemical floral thinning by spray of 2000 ppm at FNA 500-3000 ppm ALA. Plant protection. Insect pest. Damage. Control measures. Pomegranate butterfly caterpillars enter the developing fruits during July and feed on the seeds resulting in rotting and premature drop of fruits. The holes made by caterpillars can be seen on the fruit. Bagging of fruits with butter paper. Two sprays, one each with 0.002% deltamethrene and 0.2% carbaryl at 21 days interval in rotation after fruit set. Bark eating caterpillar eats bark and enters the stem by making holes. Training of bushes and keep only 3 to 4 stems. Spray declawed hose, 0.08%, or fenvalerate, 0.04%, or carbaryl, 1%, or quinalphos, 0.08%. Diseases. Symptoms. Control measures. Fungal leaf and fruit spot. Development of brown spots on leaves, which not only affects leaf vitality in number but also affects fruit growth and spoils their appearance and market value. Four sprays of copper oxychloride, 0.4%, or thiophonate methyl, 0.1%, or mancozave, 0.2%, or zinef, 0.2%, at an interval of 15 to 20 days, starting from the initiation of disease have been highly effective. Bacterial leaf and fruit spot occurs in more human areas. Affected fruits become unmarketable. Three sprays with 500 ppm possumycin plus 0.2% copper oxychloride at 15 days interval, starting from the initiation of the disease significantly reduce the incidence. Fruit cracking and its control Fruit cracking is a major problem in pomegranate, which can be reduced to some extent by maintaining optimum moisture level in soil by frequent irrigation, spraying PGRs like Na, 20 ppm, or 2, 4D, 10 ppm, or Ga. 3, 40 ppm, or by the application of borax, 0.4%. 81. Basic agriculture. Maturity, harvesting and yield fruits generally mature in 6 to 8 months after fruit set. Being non-climacteric, tree ripened fruits are harvested. Change in rind color from light green to yellowish pink or red with waxy shining surface and a cracking sound of grains on pressing the fruit indicate fruit maturity. Ripe fruits are individually picked. A full-grown pomegranate bush normally produces 40 to 50 fruits. However, as high as 100 fruits per bush can be obtained under good management. C A S H E W N U T. Cashewnut, Anacardium occidentale L, belong to family Anacardiaceae, to which mango and pistachia belong, with chromosome number 2N equals 42. Cashew is the most versatile of all nuts. It is an important crop earning foreign exchange and having considerable employment potential. Cashew nuts are rich source of fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. They also contain an ample amount of mineral like phosphorus and calcium. Soil and climatic requirements Cashew can be grown successfully in almost all soil types, from sandy to lateritic soils. Cashew is insensitive to depth, stoniness and fertility of soil and availability of water. However, it cannot withstand water lobbing and excessive salinity or alkalinity. In India, Cashew is mainly grown in laterite, red sandy loam and coastal sandy soil. Cashew is essentially a tropical crop and grows best in the warm, moist and typically tropical climate. Most favorable temperature lies between 24 degrees Celsius to 28 degrees Celsius. The major limiting factor in Cashew cultivation is that it can't tolerate frost and extreme cold for a long time.
Important varieties Ullal 1, Ullal 2, Ullal 3, Ullal 4, V1, V2, V3, BPP4, BPP6, BPP8 are some excellent varieties of cassonet grown in different parts of India. Plant propagation nowadays, softwood grafting method has been commercially used in cashew propagation. Softwood grafting can now be done round the year. However, during summer months, January May, grafted plants should be protected by providing partial shade by erecting pandal of dry coconut fronds or nylon nets. Planting the land is prepared with the onset of pre-monsoon showers by clearing bushes and wild growth, digging off pits, terracing the base of the trees etc. The square system of planting can be followed. The ideal time for planting is usually monsoon season when the moisture is air surcharge, June August, both in the west coast and east coast. If irrigation facilities are available, planting can be done throughout the year except 82. Winter months. Planting is done at 7.5 by 7.5 m or 8 by 8 meters spacing to accommodate 156 to 175 plants per hectare. Manuring application of 10 to 15 kg FYM and 500 grams N, 1 kg urea, 125 GP. 2O, 5, and 125 grams K. 2O per tree applied twice a year, i.e., during pre-monsoon, mid-June, and post-monsoon, September-October period. Irrigation cashew needs irrigation during summer months particularly at seedling stage. Protective irrigation especially summer months during January March at fortnightly intervals at 200 liters, plant improves fruit set, fruit retention, thereby increasing nut yield. It cannot withstand water stagnation and hence adequate drainage should be provided. Plant protection. Major disease. Damage. Control measures. Powdery mildew prevalent during rainy season, generally appears when the weather becomes cloudy. Dusting with 2% sulfur WP is effective. Major pests. Damage. Control measures. The mosquito bug most serious pest, responsible for a damage of nearly 25-30%. to 30%. Both nymphs and adults suck sap from the leaves, young shoots, inflorescence, developing young nuts and apples. Spray endosulfon or monocrotophos, 0.05%, or carbaryl, 0.1%, or quinalphos, 0.05%, before infestation. Stem and root border the grubs cause the damage, making tunnels in irregular directions. As a result of injury, trees show different degrees of foliar yellowing, leading to shedding of leaves, drying of twigs and gradual death of the tree. Remove and burn all the affected trees to avoid further spread of the pest. Inject 10 milliliters of dichlorbos, 0.1%, per hole and plaster them with mud. Harvesting and yield the tree starts bearing from the third or fourth year, but full bearing is attained at 10th. Year and continues for another 20 to 25 years. The tree begins to flower in December and 83. Basic agriculture the flowering, continues for about 3 months. The fruits ripen during March to May or early June. Fully mature fruits are collected every day and the nuts are separated. A fully developed tree yields about 25 to 30 kg of nuts per annum. Coconut. Coconut is one of the important members of Mokotylans. It is botanically, called as Cocos nucifera L and belongs to family Ericaceae palma. The basic chromosome number, N, is 16 and 2N equals 32. The coconut palm is considered to be one of the five legendary divine trees as stated in Indian classics and is extolled as Kalpa Riksha, the all-giving tree. Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh are the four major coconut producing Indian states, accounting for more than 90% of total area and production. The wet meat or kernel is rich in fat, carbohydrate, protein, fiber and moderate in its mineral content. Coconut water is rich in minerals and has a caloric value of 17.4 per 100 gm of water. It is also a rich source of fats, carbohydrates and minerals like phosphorus and calcium. Important varieties West Coast Tall, Andaman Ordinary, East Coast Tall and Philippines Ordinary are some important varieties of tall group. Similarly, Choghart Green Dwarf, Choghart Orange Dwarf and Ganga Bondam, Malayan Yellow Dwarf, Malayan Orange Dwarf and Malayan Green Dwarf are important varieties of dwarf group. Soil and climatic requirements farm prefers a well-drained light soil permitting free root development and aeration. It grows best on coastal alluvial and sandy soils with an optimum pH ranging from 5.2. To 8.0, and a well-distributed rainfall of 1270-2500 mm per annum is ideal for coconut cultivation. Plant propagation Coconut propagation is usually done by seed. In seed propagation, selection of mother plant from which nuts have to be collected, has great bearing on the productive life of palm. Manures and fertilizer The optimum dose of fertilizer recommended for an adult palm is 0.5 kg N, 0.32 kg P, 2O, 5, and 1.2 kg K, 2O per year. The first dose of fertilizer is applied 3 months after planting and the dosage is increased every year and the full dose of the fertilizer is applied from 4th year onwards. One third of the fertilizer is applied immediately after the onset of southwest monsoon and the remaining two thirds towards the end of the monsoon. 84. Plant protection major diseases. Damage. Control measures root wilt. Most important disease of coconut. The earliest diagnostic symptom is the abnormal inward bending of leaflets termed as ribbing or flaccidity, followed by root decay. Complete eradication of all the disease affected palms, mixed cropping with cocoa and intercropping with tapioca, are some good measures. At initial stage of the disease, spray the crown and drench the basin with 500 ppm tetracycline. Tanjabur wilt. Root decay. Cut and remove all dead roots. Cut ends of roots should be drenched with a mixture of 1.5 grams of oreofingon plus 1 gram copper sulfate. Major pest. Damage. Control measures red palm weevil most destructive pest of coconut. Grubs cause damage inside the stem or crown by feeding on soft tissues. Practice clean cultivation, avoid injury to trunk, attract weevils by smearing coconut toddy and destroy them. Injection of carbaryl, 1%, to the infested trunk through a hole is also useful. Rhinoceros beetles, adult beetles usually cause damage, which bore into the tender fronds and spathers, unopened leaves. And inflorescences. Burn all dead trunks, leaves and logs. Spray carbaryl, 0.1%, to kill the larvae. Maturity, harvesting and yield the tall varieties of coconut start flowering from 5th year and the dwarfs and hybrids flower from 3rd to 4th year. With scientific management, the West Coast tall yields on an average 80 nuts, palm per year in coastal Kerala and Karnataka and the hybrids yield from 100 to 140 nuts, palm per year. Coconut palm can produce 12 inflorescences per year, but generally number of inflorescences per palm are less than 12. For obtaining maximum yield of copper and oil, only fully mature nuts should be harvested. B. Cultivation of vegetables. Potato. Potato, Solanum tuberosum L, which belongs to family Solanaceae, is the staple food of many European countries of the world. It is an important source of starch. It is a rich source of carbohydrates, vitamins B. 1, B. 2, B. 6 and C, minerals, C, A, P and Fe, and protein. 85. Basic agriculture. Soil and climatic requirements it can grow in almost all types of soil. The well-drained clay loam soil is considered as ideal for its cultivation. It is a cool season crop and can tolerate moderate frost. It requires 20 degrees Celsius soil temperature for better germination. Yam plant growth is good at 24 degrees Celsius but later growth is favored by a temperature of 18 degrees Celsius. No tuberization takes place when the night temperature exceeds 23 degrees Celsius.
Maximum tuberization occurs at 20 degrees Celsius. Tuber formation stops completely at about 29 minus 30 degrees Celsius. Varieties. Early varieties, these varieties are ready for harvest in 70 to 80 days such as Kufri Ashoka, Kufri Chandamukhi, Kufri Jabahar, and Kufri Lokar. Main season varieties, they are ready for harvest in 90 to 95 days. Among the white-colored varieties, Kufri Jyoti, Kufri Satlaj, Kufri Pukraj, Kufri Megha, Kufri Bacha, Kufri Anand, Kufri Bahar, Kufri Sadabahar, Kufri Deva, Kufri Sherpa are important. Late varieties, Kufri Jeevan, Kufri Nilamani, Kufri Khasigaro, Kufri Naveen. Processing varieties, Kufri Chipsana 1, Kufri Chipsana 2, Kufri Chipsana 3, and Kufri Himsana. Soil preparation and planting of well-prepared soil provides sufficient room for the development of tubers and also helps to retain moisture. The fields are ploughed to a depth of 20 minus 35 centimeters first with soil turning plough and afterwards by 4 to 5 ploughings with country plough, disc harrow. Plots must be broken to make the field well pulverized and level. Planting time region. Season. Planting time. Harvesting time northwestern hills very high hills. Summer. April May. September October high hills. Summer. Mid March April. September October mid hills. Spring. Jan February. May June northwestern plains early. Mid September. Mid November December autumn mid October. February March spring. January. April north central plains winter. Mid October. February March. North eastern plains winter. October end to second. Week of November, January, February. 86. Seed rate and propagation 25 to 35 Q tubers per hectare. Potato is traditionally propagated through tubers. The eyes on the tuber surface contain axillary buds. The tubers have a dormancy of nearly 8 to 10 weeks after harvesting. The axillary buds on the tubers start germinating by producing sprouts only when this dormancy is over. The sprouted tubers put up fast and vigorous growth when planted in the soil. Breaking of dormancy This dormancy can be broken by dipping cut tubers for 1 to 1 half hours in TR at 1 to 2% solution or treating tubers with 5 ppm solution of GA. 3 for 10 seconds. Seed size and spacing planting 40 to 50 G tuber with 40 to 50 mm diameter at a spacing of 45 to 60 cm between rows and 20 minus 25 cm between the tubers within the rows. Tuber cutting is not recommended especially for the production of a seed crop as it transmits viruses and bacteria. Manures and fertilizer apply farmyard manure at 100 Q per hectare at the time of field preparation. However, fertilizer are applied at 120, 80, 60 kg and p. 2O, 5, K, 2O per hectare, respectively. Full dose of farmyard manure, phosphorus and potassium and half of N should be applied at the time of planting. Remaining part of N should be top dressed at the time of earthing up for effective utilization by the crop. Irrigation water is applied effectively and economically at critical stages in crop development i.e. Stall and formation, tuber initiation and tuber development stages of the crop. Irrigation is stopped about 10 days before harvesting of crop, to allow firming of tuber skin. Plant protection. Major diseases and their management. Early blight concentric rings of brown to black color are formed on the leaves. Heavily infected leaves fall off after drying. Spots also appear on stems. Destroy crop debris. Spray Rydemyl MZ at 2 grams, L a 0.3% Blitox a 0.25% Ditane, M45, Ditane, Z78 at fortnight intervals 3 to 4 times. Grow resistant varieties e.g. Kufri Naveen, Kufri Jeevan. Late blight. Lower leaves are infected having cottony growth. Water soap lesions appear on the margins. Tubers decay under severe infection. Use disease free seed. Spray ride mile at 2 grams per liter of water. Grow resistant varieties like Kufri Jawahar, Kufri Himsana, Kufri Jyoti, Kufri Swarnima, Kufri Kanchan. 87. Basic agriculture. Insect pests and their management. Cut worm adult moths cause extensive damage by cutting the plants. Flood the infested fields, hand pick and destroy the lava, set up light trap at 1, ha or pheromone traps at 10, ha to attract male moths and spray insecticides or clopyrifos 20 EC at 1 lit per hectare or neem oil 3% at 5.0 ml lit. Potato tuber moth it causes damage to tubers in the field and storage by tunneling the foliage, stem and tubers. Avoid shallow planting of tubers, plant the tubers at depth of 10 to 15 cm, collect and destroy the infested tubers, and fumigate the stores with carbon disulfide. Harvesting and yield the crop is harvested when it is fully matured, which can be characterized by yellowing of holes and no pulling out of skin on rubbing of tubers. At the time of harvesting, fields should not be too wet or too dry. Tractor-operated potato diggers are available for digging the tubers from the fields. Early varieties may produce 200 Q tubers per hectare, and late varieties produce about 300 Q tubers per hectare. Cauliflower. Cauliflower, brassica or eraser bud, Botrytis L, belongs to family Brassicaceae. It is an important Indian vegetable. Soil and climatic requirements cauliflower can be grown in all types of soil with good fertility and good water holding capacity. It prefers a soil reaction ranging from pH 6 to 6.5. Climatic factors play an important role during transformation from vegetative to curding and curd development stages. Temperature range of 10 minus 21 degrees Celsius is good for germination and favorable temperature range is 17 minus 20 degrees Celsius. On the basis of maturity, cauliflower varieties have been grouped as under. Maturity group nursery sowing transplanting time of temp. Range for curding. Varieties. Early I, A, Sept, maturity, mid Sept, mid November. Mid May. July beginning 20 minus 25 degrees Celsius early Kunwari, Usa early synthetic, Pant Gobi 3, Usa Meghna, Usa Kartik Sanka. 88. Early I, B, O, C, T, maturity, mid O, C, T, mid November. May end to mid June. Mid July. 20 minus 25 degrees Celsius, Usa Kartki. Usa Dipali, Pant G, O, B, H, I, 2. Mid early, 2, November maturity, mid November mid deck. July end. Sept beginning 16 minus 20 degrees Celsius, improved Japanese. Usa hybrid 2, Usa Sharad, Pant Gobi 4. Mid late 3, deck maturity, mid deck mid Jan. August end, Sept end. 12 minus 16 degrees Celsius, Usa synthetic, Usa Subra, Palam Uphar, KT 25, Pant Subra, Usa Himjoti, PB Giant 35, Usa Poshda, Usa Shukti. Late IV, Snowball, Jan March. Sept end to mid OCT. OCT end mid November 10th minus 16 degrees Celsius Snowball 16, Usa Snowball I, Usa Snowball K1. Dania, OT1. Seed rate and spacing The seed requirement for raising nursery for early varieties is 600 to 750 G per hectare and for late varieties is 300 grams per hectare area. Early varieties 45 cm x 30 cm and mid and late season varieties 60 cm x 45 cm. Soil preparation and transplanting The soil should be well prepared by plowing first with soil turning plow and afterwards with 4 to 5 plowings with country plow. The manure should be applied at the time of field preparation. Drainage is a problem for early and sometimes for mid-season crop when rains coincide with cropping period. Therefore, early crops should be transplanted on ridges or raised beds while the mid and late cultivars can be planted on flat beds. Transplanting should be done during late afternoon to avoid losses due to sun heat. Manures and fertilizer mix 200 to 250 QFYM per hectare at the time of field preparation.
Application of nitrogen, phosphorus and potash at 120 to 180, 75 to 80, 60 to 75 kg per hectare, respectively is required to raise a healthy crop of cauliflower. Irrigation cauliflower needs very careful irrigation that should be applied at right time and in sufficient quantity as both overwatering and insufficient irrigation are harmful to the standing crop. First light irrigation is given immediately after transplanting of the seedlings. 89. Basic agriculture. Maturity and harvesting The harvesting of curds is to be done as soon as the curds attain prime maturity and compactness. It is better to harvest little early than late if there is any doubt about the maturity. Delayed harvesting leads to the elongation of flowering stalk, loose, ricey, and fuzzy and over mature curds which deteriorates the quality of the curd. The curd should be cut off with stalk along with sufficient number of jacket leaves to protect the curd. Severe trimming of leaves is to be done after unloading or before marketing. Physiological disorders buttoning, it means development of small curds or buttons. Planting of over-aged seedlings, which do not get sufficient time to initiate growth before transformation to curding or selection of wrong cultivars, planting early variety late, or root injury by insects or diseases result in buttoning. Riciness, a premature initiation of floral buds or elongation of peduncle stalk of inflorescence is characterized by riciness. The curds are considered to be of poor quality for marketing. Temperature higher or lower than the optimum required for curding or application of high nitrogen results in riciness. Blindness, blind plants are those, which are without terminal bud. They do not form curd. It is due to poor fertility of the soil or damage to the terminal portion during handling at the time of planting or by insects, diseases etc. Whiptail, it is caused by the deficiency of molybdenum, more. Yin plants become chlorotic and turn white particularly along the leaf margins. In older plants, the lamina of the newly formed leaves is irregular in shape and leaves have only a large bare midrib. This is because of this condition, the disorder is called as whiptail. Cabbage. Cabbage is a famous vegetable of Indians. Its botanical name is Brassica oleracea var. Capitator and it belongs to family Brassicaceae. Varieties early group, it takes 55 to 70 days for maturity. The commonly grown varieties are Golden Acre, Pride of India, Copenhagen Market, Pusa Agati, Pusa Mukha, Pusa Samban, Synthetic Variety. Mid-season group, the cultivars fall between early and late maturity groups. September, and Pusa Drumhead are the common varieties from this group. Late group, it takes about 85 to 130 days for maturity e.g. Late large drumhead. 90. Soil and climatic requirements The soil requirement for cabbage is almost same as that of cauliflower. On heavy soils, plant grows slowly and the keeping quality is improved because of compactness. Most cabbages are somewhat tolerant to salt. It can withstand extreme cold and frost better than cauliflower. Planting time in the northern Indian plains, transplanting of different varieties can be done from October January. Seed rate and spacing early season varieties need 600 to 800 g per hectare and main season varieties need 200 to 500 g per hectare. Late varieties 60 cm x 45 cm and for early varieties 45 cm x 30 cm. Nutrient management mix 200 to 250 q per hectare farmyard manual thoroughly at the time of field preparation. Application of 120 to 180 kg nitrogen, 75 to 80 kg phosphorus and 60 to 75 kg potassium per hectare is required to raise a healthy crop of cabbage. Water management cabbage is very sensitive to soil moisture. Irrigation may be applied at 10 to 15 days interval according to the season and soil but optimum soil moisture should be maintained regularly. Maturity and harvesting in general, the heads are harvested when they are firm and solid. The heads are cut with a knife, frequently attached with some non-wrapper leaves. These non-wrapper leaves give protection to the heads from bruising injury. Diseases and insect pests of cold crops. Major diseases and their management. Black leg. It is a seed-borne disease and hence infest crop plants at an early stage. Stem of the affected plant shows severe black discoloration. Whole root system decays from bottom upwards. Often, the affected plants collapse in the field. Hot water treatment of seed before sowing. Spray the seed crop with copper oxychloride or with an organomer correct compound. Grow resistant varieties like Pusa drumhead. 91. Basic agriculture. Downy mildew it causes serious damage at all. Stages of plant growth. Discoloration occurs in the young seedlings and in severe cases, whole plant perishes. Spray ride mile at 0.5. G. Liter of water at 10 to 15 days intervals over Ditani M45 at 1, 5 minus 2.0. G. Liter of water. Black rot. The tissue at the leaf margin becomes yellow. Chlorosis progresses towards leaf center creating AV shaped area at the midrib. Spray streptocycline at 5 grams and litox at 100 grams per 10 liter of water after transplantation. Bacterial soft rot The affected plants show a soft, slimy, bad smelling rot that rapidly spreads throughout the plant under favorable conditions. Control measures adopted for other diseases can check this disease as well. Spray 100 to 200 ppm streptocycline or plantomycin combined with copper oxychloride, 0.3%, at 15 days interval. Insect pests and their management. Diamond back moth spindle shaped pale yellowish green caterpillars feed on the lower side of leaves but later feed on the exposed leaves and enter the head, curd affecting the produce as well as quality. Grow Indian mustard as a trap crop. Spray of malathion, 0.05%, or deltamethrin, 0.028%, or cypomethrin, 0.0075%, is very effective. Aphids. Aphids cause serious damage by sap sucking. Seed setting stage is seriously affected. Fall air application of malathion, 0.05%, at 15 days interval is quite effective. Cabbage butterfly damage is caused by caterpillars. The white winged butterflies deposit yellow colored eggs in clusters on the undersurface of leaves. Collect and destroy yellow egg masses and early stage larvae of cabbage butterfly. Spray of malathion, 0.05%, deltamethrin. 0.0028%, cypomethrin, 0.0075%, and phenvalerate, 0.01%, is quite effective. 92. Peas. P. Pisum sativum L. is highly nutritive crop which is rich in protein, carbohydrates, vitamins A and C and minerals such as C and P. It belongs to family Fabaceae. Soil and climatic requirements P can be grown on all kinds of soils but the best crop can be taken from well-drained and fertile loam soil. The soil pH 6 to 7.5 is the best for its proper growth and development. P is a cool season crop and requires frost-free weather particularly at flowering and pod formation stage, though vegetative growth is not affected by the frost. The optimum temperature for its germination is about 22 degrees Celsius and that for better growth and yield is 13 minus 19 degrees Celsius. Varieties 1. Early wrinkle seeded, akal, early badger, little marble, early december, palam triloki. 2. Main season wrinkle seeded varieties, Bonneville, Lincoln, Punjab 89, Palampriya. 3. Edible pod peas, Sylvia, Punjab Miti Pali, Alaska, early superb, meteor. Sowing time in North India early varieties sown during September and main season varieties are sown during first fortnight of October and November and in South India early varieties sown are during June July. Seed rate and spacing early varieties, 120 to 130, main season varieties, 75 to 100. Spacing for early varieties, 30 cm x 5 cm, main season varieties, 45 minus 60 cm x 10 cm. 
Inoculation of seeds with rhizobium culture can be helps to fix the atmospheric nitrogen. The seeds may be treated with fungicides like tirim or kaptan, 3 grams per kilogram of seed, or babistin, 2.5 minus 3 grams per kilogram of seed, to save the crop against wilt disease. Manures and fertilizer full dose of farmyard manure at 20 tons, 20 to 50 kg nitrogen, 30 to 60 kg phosphorus and 30 to 60 kg potassium per hectare should be applied at the time of sowing based on fertility status of the soil. Maturity and harvesting the peas are harvested when the pods are fully green and well developed. The seeds should be fully developed but tender i.e. should not harden. Picking should be done as soon as green ovules are fully developed and pods still not overmature. Early varieties give 2 to 3 pickings while 3 to 4 pickings at 7 to 10 days interval are taken from main season varieties. Early varieties may yield 60 to 85 Q pods per hectare and main season varieties may produce 100 to 150 Q green pods per hectare. 93. Basic agriculture. Plant protection. Diseases and their management. Powdery mildew first symptoms appear on the upper surface of the leaves as very small and discolored spots, which soon give rise to enlarged white powdery areas on the leaf, stem and pod. Multiple infection may cover the whole plant. Grow resistant varieties like palumpria. Spray dinocap or bitertinol or hexaconsole at 0.05% as the initial symptoms appear on the leaves. Fusarium wilt wilt attacks young plants. The affected plants show yellow-orange internal discoloration in the lower internodes. Grow resistant varieties, maintain good drainage. Root rot. The vascular tissue shows red discoloration extending upward 1 to 3 nodes above soil surface. Diseased plants appear unthrifty, variously dwarfed. Depending upon the severity of infection, and may wilt and die. Seed treatment with babistin at 3 grams per kilogram of seed. Soil drenching with babistin at 0.01% or kaptan or brassicole reduces the disease. Follow long crop rotation. Major insect pests and their management. P. aphid it attacks young vines, sucking the juice from growing tip, later covering the whole plant. It causes curling of the leaves and pods. Spray dime to it at 0.01% or spray of 0.06% nicotine sulfate. Pod borer the young caterpillars first feed on the surface of the pods, bore into them and feed on the seeds. Spray malathion or cyclomaterin at 0.01%. Leaf miner the greenish larvae make serpentine tunnels in the leaves and feed on it. The infested leaves wither and dry. Flowering and pod formation is drastically affected. Spray cyclomethrin or phenytrin or fenton at 0.01%. Okra. Lady's finger or okra or bindi, abelmaceous esculentus, is a favorite vegetable of Indians. Okra is rich in vitamins, C, A, K, and is grown for its green, tender, and nutritive. 94. Fruits, which are cooked in curry and are also used in soups besides being canned and frozen. Soil and climatic requirements Okra grows best in light soils ranging from sandy loam to loam, though it gives good crop in heavy soil having efficient drainage facility during rainy season. The most ideal pH range for its cultivation is 6.0 to 6.8. It is a warm season crop, sensitive to fluctuating environment, and grows luxuriantly in warm and humid weather. The optimum temperature for better seed germination is 18 degrees Celsius, optimum being 25 minus 30 degrees Celsius. Optimum temperature for its better growth is 24 minus 27 degrees Celsius and temperature above 42 degrees Celsius causes flower drop. Commercial varieties Parhani Kranti, Punjab Parmani, P8, Arka Anamika, Arka Abhe, Pusa Makmali, Pusa A4, Varsha Uphar, Azad Kranti, Pusa Savani, Parhani Kranti and Varsha Uphar. Sowing time Spring Summer Crop, February March, Autumn Winter Crop, July September. Soil preparation Okra should be planted in well-polarized field by plowing first with soil turning plow and afterwards with 4 to 5 plowings with country plow. Plowing should be followed by leveling. Seed rate and spacing, 15 to 20 kg per hectare, spring summer crop, and 10 to 12 kg per hectare, rainy season. The spacing is 30 minus 45 cm times 15 cm. Manures and fertilizer FYM at 200 to 250 quintals per hectare should be applied at the time of field preparation. In addition, apply 60 to 75 kg N, 50 to 60 kg phosphorus P. 2O, 5, and 50 to 60 kg potassium K. 2O per hectare, depending upon the fertility status of the soil. Irrigation pre-sowing irrigation is necessary especially in spring summer crop and the subsequent irrigations are given at 4 to 5 days interval in summer crop. Maturity and harvesting the fruits attain marketable maturity in about 45 to 60 days after sowing. Only tender and small fruits, 6 minus 10 cm long, should be harvested preferably in the evening or morning. 95. Basic agriculture. For export purpose, dark green fruits, about 6 minus 8 cm long should be harvested. The yield is 80 to 100 Q per hectare in spring summer crop and 120 to 150 Q per hectare in rainy season crop. Plant protection. Major diseases and their management. Powdery mildew white powdery growth on both sides of the leaf. The diseased leaves drop off from the plant. The disease can be controlled effectively by spray sulfex, 0.2%, or karatane, 0.05%, at 10 days interval. Yellow vein mosaic the veins of diseased leaves become yellow. Infected plants remain stunted and bear very few deformed and small fruits. It is transmitted by white fly. Remove infected plants and destroy them. Keep vector under control by spraying either dimethoate, 0.05%, or metasis stalks, 0.02%, or monocrotophos, 0.05%. Insect pests and their management. Fruit border the larvae bore into the shoots during vegetative stage and feeds inside. As a result, the shoots droop down and dry up. In the later stages, it infests the fruits, which become disfigured and show holes. Grow tolerant varieties like Perkins Long Green, Varsha Uphar. Remove and destroy damaged shoots and fruits. Spray of Cabaral, 0.1%, and Malathion, 0.05%, are effective. White fly. It causes chlorotic spots on leaves. Nymphs secrete a sticky substance known as honeydew, which covers leaves and flowers. Plant growth is reduced. Uproot and destroy the plants affected by yellow vein mosaic. Spray chemicals is prescribed in yellow vein mosaic. Tomato. Tomato, Solanum lycopersicum, belongs to family Solanaceae, is an important ingredient of every vegetable co-op in India. Its fruits are also used for making soup, juice, ketchup, puree, paste and powder. Red color of tomato is due to lycopene pigment, which has anti-carcinogenic properties. The orange color of fruit is due to carotenoid pigment, which is a rich source of vitamin A. 96. Plant growth habit in tomato Tomato varieties are grouped into two broad categories based on their growth habit. Determinate, dwarf growth, indeterminate tall growth, inflorescence occurs more frequently on every internode until terminal ones are formed. Inflorescence cluster occurs at every third internode. Plant growth stops at terminal point with a flower cluster, self-topping. The main branch continues growing indefinitely with fruit formation until frost occurs. Soil and climatic requirements well-drained, fairly light fertile loam with a fair moisture holding capacity is the most ideal soil for tomato cultivation. Tomato is a warm season crop, which requires long season to produce a profitable crop and highly susceptible to frost. High temperature and high humidity favors development of foliar diseases. Night temperature is the critical factor in fruit setting, the optimum range is 15 minus 20 degrees Celsius.
Varieties Pusa Rohini, Pusa Early Dwarf, Pusa 120, Pusa Ruby, Pusa Sadabahar, Pusa Uphar, Pusa Sheetal, Pusa Gaurav, Arkar Abha, Arkar Vikas, Arkar Saurabh, Arkar Alok, Arkar Ravijit, Arkar Shreshta, Arkar Vardhan, Arkar Ananya, Kashi Amrit, Kashi Hemant, Kashi Sharad, Kashi Anupam, Kashi Vishesh are important varieties. Hybrids KT4, Pusa Hybrid 1, Pusa Hybrid 2, Pusa Hybrid 4, Arkar Vardhan, Arkar Meghali, Arkar Vishal, Arkar Samrat, Kashi Hybrid 1, Kashi Hybrid 2 are some hybrids developed in our country. Nursery sowing and transplanting time in India. Crop region. Spring summer. Autumn crop. North Indian plains. Late November, mid Jan. July August, August Sept. Eastern India. November, late deck. Oxept, sept OCT. Nursery raising for better survival in the field. It is advisable to harden the seedlings. Plants are allowed to nearly build for two to three days before watering and this practice can be repeated two three times. Such seedlings can withstand the extremes of temperature. Seedlings become. 97. Basic agriculture ready for transplanting in four to five weeks time. Seedlings five millimeters in diameter are better and about 15 centimeters in length are the best for transplanting. Soil preparation and transplanting tomato should be planted in well-pulverized field by plowing first with soil turning plow and afterwards with four to five plowings with country plow. Plowing should be followed by leveling. Tomato is normally planted in raised beds of 60 to 75 cm width. Transplanting should be done during late afternoon and the seedlings are placed on side of the beds. This provides ample moisture for the plants to survive. Seed rate and spacing for pen-pollinated varieties 400 to 500 g and for hybrids equals 150 to 200 g. Spacing of 60 cm times 45 cm for determinate varieties and 90 cm times 30 cm for indeterminate varieties. Manures and fertilizer recommended dose of N, P and K fertilizer and their time of application is as under. Recommended dose farmyard manure, Q per hectare, nitrogen, kilogram per hectare, phosphorus, kilogram per hectare, potassium, kilogram per hectare. Open pollinated varieties 250. 75 to 100. 50 to 75. 50 to 60. Hybrids. 250. 150 to 180. 100 to 150. 80 to 120. Irrigation. Careful irrigation is required for better growth of tomato crop which should be supplied at right time. Both overwatering and insufficient irrigation is harmful. Maturity and harvesting. Tomato fruits are harvested at different maturity stages depending upon the purpose for which these are used and distance over which they are to be transported. Fully developed mature green fruits are harvested for long distance transportation. Such fruits ripen after reaching the market and develop good color under favorable conditions. Fruits at turning stage, one quarter of the fruit especially at blossom end shows pink color, pink stage, three quarters of the surface shows pink color, and hard ripe stage, nearly all red or pink with firm flesh, are harvested for local market. Overripe fruits, fully colored and soft, are suitable for processing, which ensure desired quality and red color in processed products. 98. Major diseases and their management. Damping off. The fungus attack usually starts on the germinating seed, and further spread to the hypocotyl, basal stem, and developing taproot. Drench the nursery bed with 5 liter formalin dissolved in 100 liters of water 15 days before sowing. Spray mangozeb or ditane M45, 25 gram in 10 liter of water, carbendazine or babistin, 10 gram in 10 liter of water, on nursery seedlings. Bacterial wilt. Deadly disease of tomato, which results in wilting of plant, stunting plant growth, yellowing of entire plant, and brown vascular system. Follow crop rotation with cruciferous vegetables. Grow resistant varieties such as Akar Ananya. Akar Rakshik ETC, follow hot water seed treatment at 50 degrees Celsius for 25 minutes and spray with streptocycline at 200 ppm at 4 to 7 days interval. Insect pests and their management. Tomato fruit borer initially. The larvae feed on tender foliage but later on, it moves to flower buds, flowers and developing fruits. The caterpillars make holes into fruits and render them unfit for market. Follow late transplanting. Follow application of endosulfan, 0.07%, carbaryl. 0.1%, deltamethrine, 0.0028%, and acephate, 0.05%, is effective. Fruit fly. The maggots after hatching feed on pulp of the fruits and render them unfit for human consumption. Remove and destroy affected fruits. Use pheromone traps for monitoring pest population. Spray of fenton, 0.05%, phenytrazin, 0.05%, or bait spray adding 50 grams good plus 10 milliliters malathion in 10 L water is effective. Physiological disorders and their management. Blossom end rot a very common and destructive disorder. Rotting of fruit starts at blossom end of the fruit. Deficiency of MG and CA is the main cause. It can be managed by spraying calcium chloride at 0.5% at fruit development stage. Also apply balanced irrigation and ensure proper staking. 99. Basic agriculture. Cracking of fruits cracking of fruits at stem end is common in tomato and often results in large losses. Cracks appear to develop at maturity or ripening stage than mature green or turning stage. Deficiency of boron and long dry spell followed by heavy watering are the main reason of cracking. Soil application of 20 to 30 kg of borax per hectare is beneficial. Application of proper irrigation at right stage is also very important. Brinjol. Brinjol, Solanum melangina, belongs to family Solanaceae, is one of the important indigenous vegetables grown in India. It is called as brain tonic due to the presence of nasunine compound. Soil and climatic requirements it can be grown practically on all soils from light sandy to heavy clay. Silt loam and clay loam soils are generally preferred and the best pH is 5, 5 minus 6.8. It is a warm season crop and susceptible to severe frost. It grows best at a temperature of 21 minus 29 degrees Celsius. Important varieties Pusa Shaimala, Pusa Purple Long, Pusa Purple Cluster, Pusa Kranti, Pusa Bharab, Pusa Anmol, Arka Shil, Arka Shirish, Arka Kusumkar, Arka Navneet, Arka Keshav, Arka Nilkant, Punjab Chunkila. Nursery Sowing and Planting Time. Crop, Region Spring Summer Crop Rainy Season Crop. Autumn Crop. Northern Indian, Neat Plains. November, Mid Jan February. Mar May, April, June, June, July, July, August. Soil preparation and transplanting brinjal should be planted in well pulverized field by plowing first with soil turning plow and afterwards with 4 to 5 plowings with country plow. Seed rate and spacing 500 to 700 g of 350 to 400 g hybrids. Spacing for dwarf varieties 60 times 45 cm and tall varieties 90 times 60 cm. 100. Manures and fertilizer FYM at 200 to 250 quintals per hectare should be applied at the time of field preparation. In addition, apply 75 to 100 kg N, 50 to 60 kg phosphorus P. 2O. 5 and 50 to 60 kg potassium K. 2O kg per hectare. Irrigation. Apply irrigation at an interval of one week in summer season and 10 to 15 days during winter. Maturity harvesting and yield fruits should be harvested when they attain a good size, attractive color and its surface should not lose its bright and glossy appearance. Timely harvesting of tender fruits increases the total growing period and number of pickings along with yield. The yield of open pollinated varieties is 300 to 500 Q per hectare and of hybrids, it is 600 to 800 Q per hectare. Plant protection. Diseases. 
Symptoms and management. Thomopsis blight portion of fruit is bleached and gives burning appearance. Seed treatment with tirim at 3 gm per kilogram. Spray the crop in the nursery with Ditani M45. Grow resistant variety like Pusab Harav. Bacterial wilt. Grow resistant variety such as Arkanidhi, Arka Keshav, Hisar Shyamal ETC. Little leaf. Caused by mycoplasma and transmitted by leaf hoppers. The affected plants are shorter in structure. The leaves are malformed. Floral parts turn into leaf-like structures. No fruit bearing takes place. Insect pests and their control. Brinjal fruit and shoot borer it is the most serious pest of brinjal crop. Plant shoots wilt and dry. Small holes appear below the calyx of fruits. Fruits are filled with frass. Grow resistant, tolerant varieties like Pusa Purple Cluster, Arka Kusumkar. Polar application of Kabaral, 0.1%, endosulfan, 0.07%, Fenvalerate, 0.01% is effective. Chili. Chili, Capsicum annuum bud, Hortense, belongs to family Solanaceae, and Gems Capsicum. 101. Basic agriculture. Types of Capsicum A. Hot pepper, pungent due to crystalline volatile alkaloid capsaicin, located mainly in the placenta of fruit. It is cultivated for vegetables, spices and pickles ETC, potential for an exchange earning crop, and rich source of vitamin A and C. B. Sweet pepper, Shimla mirch, bears bell-shaped, non-pungent, mild and thick pericarp, fleshed fruit. It is mainly used as vegetable. C. Paprika, mild in taste and slightly pungent than sweet pepper. Used as spice in European countries, gives color and mild pungent taste to food stuff. It is also used in pickles and sandwiches. Soil and climatic requirements chili can be grown practically on all type of soils except on saline soils. Soil should be well drained and well aerated. Sandy and sandy loam soils are generally preferred for an early crop or where season is short. The most ideal temperature for its better growth and development is 20 minus 25 degrees Celsius. Excessive rainfall results in poor fruit set, rotting of fruits and defoliation of plant. Varieties Pusa Jwala, Pusa Sadabahar, Bhagya Lakshmi, Andhra Jyoti, Punjab Lal, Punjab Surkha, Punjab Guchedar, Arka Meghana, Arka Harita, Arka Sweta. Planting time. South India, mainly as Kharif season crop, June to October, and Northern Indian plains. December, sowing, February, May, June, June, July. Seedlings are ready for transplanting when they attain a height of 15 cm with 4 leaves in 4 to 6 weeks. Seed rate and spacing 1 kg, ha and spacing of 45 times 45 cm or 60 times 45 cm. Manures and fertilizer. Apply FYM at 250 Q per hectare, nitrogen at 75 kg per hectare, phosphorus at 60 to 75 kg per hectare and potassium at 50 kg per hectare. Full dose of farmyard manure, phosphorus and potassium and half of N should be applied at the time of transplanting. Remaining part of N should be top dressed in two equal parts at an interval of one month each. Maturity and harvesting the picking of fruits depends upon the type and purpose for which they are grown. 1. Green fruits. Fruits are harvested when they are still green but fully grown. It needs 5 to 6 pickings for harvesting the whole crop. 2. Pickles. The fruits are harvested either green or ripe. 102. 3. Drying. Red. When fully ripe fruits are picked at an interval of 1 to 2 weeks and harvesting continues for a period of about 3 months. Diseases and their management. Disease. Management. Damping off. Spray Mancozave, Indofil M45, 25 GM, 10 liter of water, or Carbendazine, Baviston, 5 GM, 10 L. Follow 5 years of crop rotation. Powdery mildew spray sulfur-based fungicide i.e. Karatani at an interval of 15 days interval at 0.2%. Percent. Bacterial will grow resistant varieties. Crop rotation with cruciferous vegetables is recommended. Field sanitation and crop rotation reduces the disease incidence. Insect pests and their management. Fruit borer. Adults lay eggs on the upper and lower side of leaf. Lard bore circular holes and usually thrust only head inside the fruit to another and may destroy many fruits. Spray deltamethrine 25 ache or spray 5% neem seed kernel extract to kill early stages larvae placement of 15 to 20 bird perches, T-shaped per hectare helps in inviting insectivorous birds. Cucurbitaceous crops. Cucurbits form an important and a big group of vegetable crops cultivated extensively during summer season. These vegetables are used either as salad, pickling, cucumber, or for cooking, all gourds, or preserved, ash gourd, or used as desert fruits, muskmelon and watermelon. All cucurbits belong to the same family cucurbitaceae but genera may be different. The cultural requirements of all crops in this group are more or less similar. Soil and climatic requirements of well-drained soil of loamy type is preferred for cucurbits. Lighter soils, which warm quickly in spring are usually utilized for early yields while heavier soils are suitable for more wine growth and late maturity of the fruits. In sandy riverbeds, alluvial substrata and subterranean moisture of river streams support the cultivation of cucurbits. The soil should not crack in summer and should not be waterlogged in the rainy season. It is important that soil should be fertile and rich in organic matter. The most suitable pH range is between 6.0 and 7.0. Cucurbits are warm season crops. They do not withstand even light frost and strong winds, though cucumber tolerates a slightly cooler weather than melons. Optimum. 103. Basic agriculture germination occurs at 18 degrees Celsius temperature. Cucurbits grow best at a temperature range of 18 minus 24 degrees Celsius. Proper sunshine and low humidity are ideal for the production of cucumber. Melons prefer tropical climate with high temperature during fruit development with day temperature of 35 minus 40 degrees Celsius. Cool nights and warm days give better quality fruits in melons. Varieties. Crop, botanical name origin. Important varieties. Cucumber, Cucumus sativus, India. Japanese long green, Pusa Ude. Pusa Barkha, Pant Kira 1, Pusa Sanyog, F1 hybrid, Poinsett, Sheetal, Priya. Bottle God, Legendaria Ciceraria, Africa. Pusa Naveen, Pusa Samriti, Pusa Sandesh, Pusa Santushti, Pusa Hybrid Tree, Punjab Round, Punjab Komal, Punjab Long, Arka Bahar. Bitter God, Momodika Charansha, Tropics of the Old World, Arka Harit, Pusa Dumasami, Pusa Vishesh, Pusa HYBRID2. Summer Squash, Cucurbita Pepo, Central American and Mexican Region. Pusa Alankar, Australian Green. Punjab Chapan Kadu 1, Early Yellow Prolific. Sponge God, Lufa Silindrika, India. Pusa Sneha, Pusa Supriya, Pusa Chikni. Bridge God, L. Acutangula, India. Pusa Nutan, Pusa Nasdar, Arka Sumit, Arka Sujat, Saputia, Hermaphrodite Flower. Ash God, Beninkasa Hispida, Japan and Java Pusa Ujjabal, Colorado 1, Colorado 2, S1, Pau, Karikumbala, Budikumbala, APAU Shakti. Snake God, Trichosanthus Anguana. India. Co 1, Colorado 4, TA19, Chichinda. Watermelon, Citrullus Lunatus, Africa. Arka Jyoti, F. 1, Arka Manak, Sugar Baby, Durgapur Mita, Durgapur Kesar, Asahi Yamato. Muskmelon, Kukumus Mellow, Northwest India and Hot Valleys of Iran. Pusa Madhuras, Pusa Sharbati, Hara Madhu, Punjab Rasila. Punjab Sanhiri. Punjab Hybrid, Arka Jeet, Arka Rajhans, Hisar Madhu, Durgapur Madhu, Kashi Madhu. 104. Sowing times under riverbed cultivation. Most of the cucurbits are sown during winter season, i.e., in the month of November in northern Indian plains. In the garden soils, sowing is done in February and to March. Melons are grown only when the weather is warm and dry during fruit development, i.e., 
November to February. For rainy season, grow only those cocoa buds, which can tolerate rains, e.g. bitter gourd in June-July. In southern and central India, winters are not severe and long, therefore, these can be grown throughout the year. November sown crop is over by March-April in northern Indian hills, sowing start from April-May and the crop is over by August-September. In western India, sowings are done from September to February. Methods of planting in most cocoa buds, in situ method of sowing is followed. But in certain areas of northern India and hills where the main objective is to get early fruit harvest, the seedlings are raised in polythene tubes and plantation is done in the field when the conditions are favorable without disturbing the soil ball. Transplanting is done at two true leaf stage. Furrow method. Furrows are made at 1 to 1.5. M in case of cucumber and bitter gourd. The sowing is usually done on the top of the sides of furrows and the vines are allowed to trail on the ground especially in summer season. Bed method. In some regions, bed system is in fashion where the seeds are sown on the periphery of beds. The width of the bed is almost double to the row to row spacing. Hill method raised beds. The hills are spaced at a distance of 0.5-0.75 meters and 2 to 3 seeds are sown per hill. After germination, retain only one or two plants per hill. This method facilitates proper drainage especially in heavy rainfall regions. Pit method. Generally, it is followed in southern India. The pit is lower than the normal bed surface. Training is done by pagola or pandal system. Seed rate, spacing and yield. Crop. Season. Seed rate, kilogram per hectare, spacing, M. Fruit yield, Q per hectare. Cucumber. Summer, rainy 2.5 minus 3.5. 1.5. Times 0.60 minus 0.90. 250 to 300 bottle god summer. 4, 5, 2, 3 times 1 to 1.5. 300 to 400 bitter god summer, rainy. 4, 6, 1.5 minus 2.5. Times 0.60 minus 1.20. 150 to 200. 105. Basic agriculture. Crop. Season. Seed rate, kilogram per hectare, spacing, M. Fruit yield, Q per hectare, summer squash, dwarf, summer, rainy. 8100.60-0.75 times 0, 45-0.60. 250 to 300. Sponge god summer, rainy 2.5-3.0. 2, 50-3.00 times 0.60-1.20. 150 to 200 rich god. Summer, rainy. 3 to 3.5. 2, 50-3.00 times 0.60-1.20. 150 to 200. Snake god summer, rainy. 4, 6, 1.5-2.5. Times 0.60-1.20. 200 to 250. Ash god. Summer, rainy. 5, 7, 1, 5 to 3 times 0 0.6-1.2. 100 to 150 watermelon summer. 3, 4, 2, 5 minus 3.5. Times 0 0.90 minus 1.20. 300 to 500 muskmelon summer. 1.5 minus 2.0. 1.50 minus 2.0. Times 0 0.60 minus 0 0.90. 150 to 200. Manures and fertilizer. Palmyard manure, Q per hectare, nitrogen, N, kilogram per hectare, phosphorus, P. 2O, 5 kilogram per hectare, potassium, K. 2O, kilogram per hectare, 200 to 250. 60 to 100. 50 to 75. 50 to 85. Full dose of farmyard manure, phosphorus and half of potassium and N should be applied at the time of sowing. Remaining part of N should be top dressed in two equal parts after one month and at flowering stage, while half of K is applied when good growth takes place. Interculture and weed management thinning of plants should be done 10 to 15 days after sowing, retaining not more than two healthy seedlings per hill. The beds or ridges are required to be kept weed-free in the early stages before vine growth starts. Weeding and earthing up are done at the time of top dressing of split application of nitrogenous fertilizer. Butachlor at 1 kg per hectare or chlorumbin at 2 to 3 kg per hectare is pre-emergence and naphthalum at 2 to 4 kg per hectare is post-emergence after first weeding efficiently helps in controlling the weeds in cucurbitaceous crops. In general, vertical training is more helpful in increasing the yield of cucumber. Irrigation in spring-summer crop, frequency of irrigation is very important, while in rainy season crop, well-distributed rainfall between July to September reduces the frequency of irrigations. Bridges or hills or beds are to be irrigated a day or two prior to sowing of seeds and then light irrigation is to be given four or five days after sowing. Sex expression and sex ratio gibberellic acid, ga, at higher concentration induces mulness but at lower concentration of 10 to 25 ppm increases the number of female flowers. 106. Two sprays, first at two leaf stage and again at four leaf stage with 100 ppm of na, 200 ppm of ethereal, 3 ppm of boron or 3 ppm of molybdenum can suppress the number of male flowers and increases the number of female flowers, fruit set and ultimate yield. Gynaceous lines, bears only female flowers, are used for hybrid seed production in cucumber and bitter gourd. Cucurbits are cross-pollinated vegetable crops. There are nine types of sex forms found in these crops, of which monoecious type is the most common. Saputia, variety of rich gourd is the only cucurbit, which bears hermaphrodite, bisexual, flowers. Maturity and harvesting harvesting of crop at right time is very important in cucurbits as in most cases, seed development is undesirable. Harvest cucumber, bottle gourd, bitter gourd, snake gourd, ridge gourd and sponge gourd when they are still young, tender and have soft seeds inside. Harvest before fruit color changes from green to yellow. Muskmelon, it is a climacteric fruit, which ripe during transportation and storage. Hence, it should be harvested before it attains fully ripe stage. Watermelon, it is harvested at fully ripe stage. Maturity signs are withering of tendril, change in belly color or ground spot to yellow and the thumping test produce dull sound on maturity and metallic sound in unripe fruits. Disease management. Disease. Management. Powdery mildew. Spray karatane at 0.05%. Downy mildew. Spray detane Z78, 0.25%. Anthracnose. Grow resistant varieties such as poinsett, arkamanak. Seed treatment with blitox or babistin, 2.5. Cheap per kilogram of seed. Fusarium built. Follow long-term crop rotation. Seed treatment and drenching of soil with blitox or babistin, 2.5. Cheap per kilogram of seed. Fruit rot. Seed treatment with babistin or thirim or kaptan, 2.5. Cheap per kilogram of seed. Avoid flood irrigation. Collar rot. Seed treatment with babistin or thirim or kaptan, 2.5. Cheap per kilogram of seed. 107. Basic agriculture. Disease. Management. Angular leaf spot. Seed treatment with mercuric chloride solution, 1, 1000, for 5 to 10 minutes. Cucumber mosaic. Transmitted by aphids. Control aphids with insecticides. Pumpkin yellow vein mosaic. Transmitted by whitefly. Control. Fruit fly with insecticides. Insect pest management. Fruit fly. Field sanitation should be ensured by removal and destruction of fallen fruits and infested fruits daily to minimize the pest intensity. Trap crop. Growing 2 to 3 rows of maize is a trap crop in between the cucurbits. 
Trap crop acts as resting site for the adult fruit fly. Any contact insecticides can be sprayed on maize during evening hours to kill adult fruit flies. Use of pheromone traps for monitoring pest population. Apply cover spray of fenton, 0.05%, fenitrodon, 0.05%, to kill the insects on contact or a bait spray that attracts and kill the adults. Bait spray is prepared by adding 50 grams good plus 10 milliliters malathion in 10 liter water. Epilopna beetle. Hand picking and destruction of eggs, grubs and adult beetles is effective. Polar application of malathion, 0.05%, carbaryl, 0.1%, and endosulfan, 0.05%, checks the pest. Red pumpkin beetle. Collection and destruction of beetles in the early stage of infestation. Spraying with 0.05% malathion gives satisfactory control of the pest. Aphids. Spray endosulfan or malathion at 0.1%. C. Cultivation of flower crops. Rose. Rose, Rosa species, is the most ancient and popular flower grown the world over. In India, it is cultivated commercially for cut flowers, both for traditional flower market and florist shops. Rose loose flowers are petals used for making garlands and for offering in temples, and the cut roses with stems mainly used for bouquets and floral arrangements. Besides, the commercial rose, the Damask rose, are Damasina. 108. And Eduard rose, are Babuniana, are cultivated for rose atter and other products, Gulkand, Gulabjal and Pankhoj. Soil and climatic requirements Roses are grown in cold climate of the hills as well as in the plains of northern and southern regions and well-drained, medium loam soil having a pH of 6.0-7.5. Is ideal for rose growing. Varieties first red, grand gala, gladiator, cocktail. Propagation rose is commercially propagated through tea budding. Planting the rose should be planted in pits of 60 cm diameter and 60-75 cm depth dug at appropriate distances in a bed and in northern plains, mid-October is good time for planting. Pruning the rose bushes are pruned once a year during second or third week of October in the northern plains. After about 6-7 to seven weeks of pruning, the plants start flowering. The time of flowering can be adjusted according to the date of pruning. The pruning in northern plains is done in October. Manuring and fertilization rose being a perennial crop, it requires regular nutrient feeding through manures and fertilizer at the time of pruning, plant growth and at the end of flowering, besides during land preparation and planting of new bushes. Irrigation The frequency of irrigation depends upon the soil texture and climate. Watering is more frequent in sandy soils and hot weather than in clay soils and humid, rainy or cool season. During the rainy season in eastern, southern or coastal areas, it may not be necessary to irrigate the plants. The frequency of watering during summer may be about twice a week, while in winter or cool season, it may be only once a week or ten days. Dust budding and pinching the young vegetative buds in the leaf axils of basal and lateral shoots are dust budded to encourage branching at the base and to obtain long terminal shoots. For obtaining long stem quality blooms, it is necessary to do dust budding and pinching or removal of side flower buds. 109. Basic agriculture. Harvesting and post-harvest management The rose flowers are cut while still in the bud stage after the sepals curl back and the color is fully showing. In large flowered roses, flowers along with the stem of prescribed length are cut when the first one or two petals start to unfold but do not open fully. The flowers in small flowered clustered varieties are cut when these begin to open in the cluster. The flowers are harvested in early morning or late in the afternoon. The cut roses are kept in plastic buckets, containers filled with clean water having disinfectant and preservative, silver thiosulfate, to enhance their shelf life. These flowers are shifted to pre-cooling chambers having a temperature of 10 degrees Celsius, and kept there for about 12 hours. The grading is done on the grading tables. The graded flowers are bunched with 10 or 20 stems in each bunch and sleeved with thick paper or plastic film. These flowers are then packed in telescopic corrugated cardboard boxes. Plant protection. Pests. Diseases. Red spider mite. Powdery mildew. Scale. Dieback. Aphid. Black spot. Leaf eating caterpillar. Nematode. Marigold. Marigold, touches SPP, belongs to family Astraceae. It is grown as an ornamental crop for loose flowers as well as a source of pigment for poultry feed. Flowers are sold in the market as loose or after making into garlands. Other than loose flowers, it can also be used as cut flower. Marigold is used especially for beautification and also in landscape plants due to its variable height and color of flowers. Botanical description 1. Tajits erector, African marigold, the African marigold plant is hardy, annual, about 90 cm tall, erect and branched. 2. Tajits patula, French marigold, the French marigold is a hardy annual, about 30 cm tall, forming a bushy plant. Different types of marigold. 110. Soil and climatic requirements marigold is adaptable to different types of soil conditions and thus can grow successfully in a wide variety of soils. However, a deep, fertile, friable soil having good water holding capacity, well drained and near to neutral in reaction, pH 7.0. 7.5 is most desirable. Marigold requires mild climate for luxuriant growth and flowering. Varieties 1. Tajits erector, African marigold, Pusa narangi denda, Pusa basanti denda, Climax, Chrysanthemum, Charm etc. 2. Tajits patula, French marigold, Pusa arpita, Red brocade, Rusty red, Butterscotch etc. Plant propagation. Marigold is mainly propagated by seeds. The seed rate is 42.5 kg per hectare. Transplanting mid-July, mid-October and February-March are suitable times for transplanting of marigold at spacing of 40 times 30 cm. Nutrient management FYM is given at 50 tons per hectare at the time of field preparation. In African and French marigold, application of 400 kg N, 200 kg P and 60 kg K per hectare should be done. Maturity and harvesting marigold flowers are plucked when they have attained full size. Plucking of flowers should be done in cool hours of the day. The field should be irrigated before plucking so that flowers keep well for a longer period after harvest. Plucked flowers are collected in polythene bags or bamboo baskets for carrying to markets. Plant protection. Pests. Diseases. Red spider mite. Damping off. Hairy caterpillar. Collar rot. Alternaria dianti. Flower bud rot. T-U-B-E-R-O-S-E. Tuberose, Polyanthus tuberosa L, belongs to family Amarilidaceae. It is native of Mexico from where it has spread to the different parts of the world during 16th century. Tuberose is used for making garlands, floral ornaments and bouquets. The long flower spikes used as cut flowers for table decoration and the flowers emit a delightful. 111. Basic agriculture fragrance and other source of tuberose oil, which is used in high-value perfumes and cosmetic products. Soil and climatic requirements for loamy and sandy soil having pH range from 6.5 to 7.5, with good aeration and drainage are ideal for tuberose cultivation. In India, commercial cultivation of tuberose is confined to warm humid areas with average temperature ranging from 16 degrees to 30 degrees Celsius. Varieties 1. Single, Shranga, Rajwal, Raja Trekka, Hyderabad Single and Kolkata Single are main varieties. 2. Double, Swan Rekka, Hyderabad Double, Kolkata Double, Vebhav and Subasini are main varieties. Tuberose Flowers. Propagation tuberose is propagated through bulbs and bulbs are planted at a spacing of 20 x 20 cm at a depth of 4 to 6 cm. These bulbs are first thoroughly cleaned and treated with babistan, 0.2%, for 30 minutes. 
Dipping the bulbs in 4% solution of tea can break the resting period. Pre-plant storage of bulbs at 10 degrees Celsius for a period of 30 days to improve the plant growth, increase spike and flower yield. Nutrient management in general, a basal dose of FYM at 10 kg per square meter, nitrogen at 15 grams per square meter should be applied in 3 split doses. Single superphosphate and morate of potash each at 80 grams per square meter, 10 to 15 days prior to the planting of bulbs is recommended. Maturity and harvesting tuberose starts flowering 80 to 100 days after planting and flowering time is July onwards and tuberose flowers all the year round. Spikes are harvested at bud burst stage preferably in the morning before sunrise or late in the evening by clipping with a sharp knife or secateurs that give a clean cut. After harvest, these are immediately immersed in water for prolonging life of spikes. 112. Plant protection. Insect pests. Diseases. Bud borer. Stem rot. Nematodes. Flower bud rot. T. Cultivation of spices. Cumin. Cumin, cuminum siminum, or safat jira is one of the oldest spices known to mankind. It belongs to family Apiaceae. It is the ripe fruit of a slender herb. Cumin seeds are yellowish to grayish brown and have an aromatic odor due to the presence of an aromatic alcohol, cuminol, and a spicy somewhat bitter taste, and are extensively used as a condiment. Soil and climatic requirements Cumin thrives well in tropical and subtropical climates and well-drained, medium to heavy textured, medium to highly fertile soil with a good water holding capacity is ideally suited for its cultivation. Varieties The important varieties grown in India are, minus 1 rupees, Gujarat Cumin 1, MC43 and Vijapur 5 ETC. Propagation Cumin is propagated through seeds. Lots of 2 by 2.5. M are made after the final preparation of land, just before sowing. The best time for sowing is the first fortnight of November. Cultivation It is recommended to apply well-rotten FYM at 10 to 15 t per hectare to the field at the time of land preparation. In addition, an application of 25 hours 20 minutes and 20 seconds of 50, 50, 80 kg or 30 to 40 kg each of NPK per hectare is considered to be optimum for the satisfactory growth of the crop. Pests and diseases Cumin is often attacked by several species of aphids, which can be effectively controlled by spraying a 0.3% solution of phosphamidin, 0.03%, or dinoate, 0.3%. Cumin built is a serious disease caused by Fusarium oxysporum, F. cumini and F. aquazetti. D. 113. Basic agriculture organism can infest the plant at any stage of growth. Organic amendments like neem cake are useful in checking wilt. Maturity, harvesting and yield the crop will be ready for harvest in about 80 to 120 days after sowing. At this stage, the leaves of the plant become yellow. The crop is harvested before the fruits shatter, by uprooting the whole plant in the morning. A disease-free field receiving the above package of practice would easily produce 8 to 15 quintals of cumin seeds per hectare. Black pepper. Black pepper, piper nigrum, belongs to family Piperaceae. It is one of the oldest and the world's most important spices. Among all the spice crops, pepper has the highest contribution to foreign exchange. It is duly regarded as the king of spices and black gold. Pepper has its origin in the western ghats of India. It occurs wild in the hills of Assam and North Burma. It is a perennial climbing plant, mostly cultivated as a mixed crop in coffee, citrus and arecanut plantations in Kerala and Karnataka. Piperin is the alkaloid responsible for pungency. It's a perennial climber. Catkin is the inflorescence type and fruit is single-seeded berry. Soil and climatic requirements Pepper is essentially a crop of the humid tropics and requires an optimum rainfall of 1250-2000 mm per annum distributed throughout the year is desirable. Pepper thrives best on virgin soils rich in humus and a pH range of 4.5. to 6.5. Is ideal. Propagation Pepper can be commercially propagated by cuttings and runner shoots are the most preferred propagating material, but for bush pepper production, plagiotropic shoots are used. Varieties Karimunda, Shrikara, Purnima, Panniyu 2, Panniyu 4, Panniyu 6, Subakara and Panchami are some of the important varieties of black pepper. Land preparation The pits are prepared well in advance of planting at the base of the standards with a minimum size of 50 cc. The pits are filled with a mixture of topsoil, 5 kg of well-rotten FYM, compost, 2 kg neem cake and 150 g rock phosphate. A spacing of 2.7. By 2.7. M is maintained in monoculture. The common life standards used to train pepper vines are Erythrina indica, Garuga pinata, Mangifera indica, Anacardium occidentale, Groya robusta, Terminalia sp, etc. 114. Plant protection. Pests and diseases symptoms. Management. Insect pests follow beetle the external indication of infestation is the presence of dark. Drying berries possessing a characteristic circular hole in the midst of green healthy berries. Spraying vines with, Quinalphos, 0.025%. Dinoate or monocrotophos, 0.05%, twice a year. Diseases quick wilt. This is the most serious and dreaded disease affecting the pepper vine. Three types of symptoms, i.e., leaf rot, collar rot and root rot. Are generally observed in a quick wilt infected plant. Application, per vine, of neem cake, 1 kg, plus trichodoma hasianum plus garlic and mustard seed extract. Maturity, harvesting and yield harvesting is done during November-February in plains and during Janmar in hills. In India, the yield varies from 110 kg to 355 kg per hectare. Products. Harvest maturity. White pepper. Fully ripe. Black pepper. Fully mature and nearly ripe. Canned pepper. 4 to 5 months after fruit set. Dehydrated green pepper. 10 to 15 days before full maturity. Olea resin. 15 to 20 days before full maturity. Oil. 15 to 20 days before full maturity. Pepper powder. Fully mature with maximum starch. Turmeric. Turmeric curcuma longa is known as the sacred spice which belongs to family Zanjibaraceae. It is the plant from which the turmeric of commerce, dried rhizomes, is obtained. The coloring principle in turmeric is curcumin. In addition to its use as a spice, natural source of yellow dye used for dyeing cotton, silk or wool without a. 115. Basic agriculture mordant. Turmeric powder and water are used as cosmetics. Turmeric is considered a carminative, tonic, blood purifier, vermicide and an antiseptic. Soil and climatic requirements Turmeric prefers a warm and humid climate and can be cultivated in most of the tropics and subtropics, provided that the rainfall is adequate or irrigation facilities are available and well-drained loamy or alluvial soils is optimum for the crop. Varieties Kasturi, Balaga, Mandaga, Alepe, Manuti Local ETC. Propagation. Turmeric is generally propagated by using whole or split mother rhizomes. Manure and fertilizer FYM at 40 t per hectare is applied at the time of land preparation and a fertilizer dose of 30, 30, 60 or 60, 30, 90 kg of NPK per hectare is recommended. The field is mulched with green leaves at 15 t per hectare. Maturity, harvesting and yield. Turmeric comes to harvest in 7 to 10 months after planting. The yield of about 20 to 25 tons of raw turmeric per hectare is obtained. Value added products The value added products of turmeric are curcuminoids, dehydrated turmeric, powder, oil and oleo resin. Plant protection. Pests. Diseases. Symptoms. Management. Insect. Shoot border the larvae bore into the pseudostems and feed on the growing shoots, resulting in yellowing and drying of the infested shoots. 
Hymenopteran parasitoids have been identified as biocontrol agents for this pest. Diseases rhizome rot the leaves of the infected plants become yellow and exhibit gradual drying along the margins. Planting healthy rhizomes and seed treatment with Ditane M45, 0.25%, plus Carbendazine, 0.1%, for 60 minutes. 116. Coriander. Coriander, Coriandrum sativum, is the dried fruit of Coriandrum satium L, an aromatic spice crop of the family Umbelliferae or Apiaceae. It is a very old flavoring substance and it uses both for its leaves, as well as fruits. Soil and climatic requirements Coriander is best cultivated on heavy black, clay cotton soils. Varieties RCR41, RCR20, CS4, Sadhna, CS6, Swati, RD44, Rajendra Swati. Propagation and seed rate Coriander is propagated by seed. Before sowing, the fruits are rubbed until the two mesocarps are separated and then sown. The seed rate requirement in coriander varies from 10 to 15 kg for irrigated and 25 to 30 kg per hectare for rain-fed crops. Manures and fertilizers 40 hours 40 minutes and 40 seconds NPK per hectare are applied depending on the location at the time of sowing. Irrigation The crop is irrigated immediately after sowing in order to ensure even germination, and later irrigation is provided at 7 to 10 days intervals, depending upon the soil and climatic conditions. Maturity Harvesting and yield The coriander plant matures in 90 to 120 days for grains and 40 days for greens. On an average, a seed yield of 400 to 500 kg per hectare under rain-fed conditions and 1000 to 1250 kg per hectare under irrigated conditions may be obtained. Pests and diseases. Pests. Diseases. Symptoms. Management. Insect pests aphids. The attack of aphids usually occurs at the time of flowering. This insect is easily controlled by a number of insecticides, 0.15% time to 8 at 10 days interval. Diseases. Wilt. Wilt infection occurs in the roots and drooping, yellowing. Wilting and drying symptoms are expressed in the aerial parts. T. Hasianum and pseudomonas fluorescence can be used as biocontrol agents in wilt-tolerant cultivars, RCR41, RCR4, GC1 and 2 and Sindhu, should be grown in wilt-affected plots. 117. Basic Agriculture. 